chat are you ready for another exciting episode of Red Grind? Welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of Rap Grind. I am your host, Zoran the Bear, playing Oren the Strix Druid, and I will introduce all the amazing individuals here that bring you the awesome show Rock Grind, starting off with Odo Roshi. Hello, hello, I'm Odo. I'm playing Vali, the Sylph Swashbuckler. Uh and I ate a lot of food. My tummy hurts and I'm being so brave about it. So brave. so brave. So brave. So brave. So brave. So brave. Big, so brave. Class. So, big class. Oh, th Swap thank you. Oh my god. Oh, thank you so class. much. I'm so glad you were so strong <laughs> to be here. Please. Thank clap. you. <laughs> Please clap. <laughs> Next up, we have the ever towering, the ever sun eating, the ever amazing captain of our lives, Hokey Crow. Hello, that is me. I am playing the Kanrasu cleric Rahua. And I got the chance to touch a real life big ass hermit crab in the ocean. That's awesome. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, how shit. how big is big ass? Like like plate like, size? He was the or size like... of my hand. He was a big boy. Oh, I've never shit. touched a hermit crab that big. Big boy. Biggie He's a biggest boy. boy. They get that big? Oh yeah. Bro, but... hermit crabs are insane. They can get like head sized if you let them. Yeah. What the hell? If you have a small head. They took out a million. <laughs> if you right? have a That's small head. Too. Those are coconut crabs. They're different. I don't want to fucking touch them. They're their cousins. Take my hands off. Eh. It's a family affair. <laughs> of course, after that, we have our resident bucket head, an amazing individual, someone who's always enjoyed to be around, Arendil. Hi, I'm Arendil, and I will be... Uh... Doing your mind! Uh, I will be playing as uh, Baldrick, the alchemist, and I look forward to exploding something soon. Soon, probably not. We'll see. And then, of course, we have the ever-revolutionary master of spells and wizardry, Mr. Speaker D. Yes, I am Speaker D! <laughs> And uh, I also ate a lot of food, and my tummy is very oh so hurdy hurdy. But I'm not being grave about it at all. I'm a coward. So cowardly. Everyone, so cowardly. Oh, 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 so oh, oh, could so you? Fearful. How could you do that? Please, so please, please clap, please. <laughs> then of course we have the one who curses us all, who spreads Sarat everywhere that he goes, the one that will corrupt our characters to the very core, and then probably turn them into boss monsters or something. I don't know what's going to happen. The most amazing game master in the world, Thurston Hillman. Hello. All right, good, so good. Thank you. So brave, so brave. Thank you, so brave. Thank you. So brave. So brave. So brave. Oh, my God. So brave, so brave. <laughs> so brave, you know. so brave. All right, so quick things before we start the show. Don't don't skip away. You probably want to listen to this part um, because it's very important for the campaign and things like that. We're changing some stuff. We're changing some roles a bit, especially with the complications. So two things will be happening. First off, uh, complications are being adjusted. After some people's feedback and after re-looking at it and stuff and everything else, uh, we found the complications in the system that's going with it. Every time we roll a natural one, it just felt weird. We were still trying to figure it out a little bit, see what would work best for the show, player experience, all that stuff. Because this is our game, you know. We're we still want to play a game and have fun with it, but we also want to put on a show for you. And uh, what we think what might be best, and yeah, we'll try this out for a little bit. What we think is a <laughs> the best solution so far <laughs> is that we're changing the complication to be if we roll a natural one, we cannot hero point it. That is the major change. So if we roll a natural one, we can't just roll it away. So then the complication happens and then it's like, it's weird. You know, we tried this over, over Rockoons and it seemed to work great. So for this, then we're going to apply that to here to where uh, we're going to basically, every time we roll a natural one, we can't get rid of it with a, with a hero point. We, we were stuck with it and the complication goes in with full. So it makes the game a little bit harder for us, but it's more entertaining for you guys. It makes things a little bit more exciting for us. 
um, we feel like this could work out really well. And with our death mechanic, with the rot and stuff like that, uh, I feel this could be really, really interesting. So please give us feedback on Patreon and stuff. And speaking of Patreon, um, for those of you, there, there will be a post coming out either later on tonight or tomorrow, more than likely tomorrow, that we are getting rid of our antagonist tier. The antagonist tier is basically where you submit the complications to where you go, hey, I want to submit a complication and have it affect us. That is still happening. We are getting rid of the tier and we are going to be combining it to the $5 tier. So we're basically making it cheaper and allowing more people to basically submit to it. Uh, we will try to be adjusting the current tier um, for that to be a little bit lower just so people don't get charged for this month and stuff. But yeah, you will we will do our best to kind of do that so we don't screw people over or so. But if something does happen to you, just DM me on Discord. I'll try my best to help you out. But um, those are the big major complicate, big major, well, not complication, complication adjustments for the campaign. And of course, if you like what we do here, please head over to our YouTube channel uh, for narrative declaration. Head over to our Twitter, narrative declare, and also uh, visit us on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration, where you can help us see all the amazing stuff we get, get all the cool assets that we get, and see everything that we do. But with all of that, Thurston. Thurston. Thurston, Thurston, Hello. Thurston, what adventure do you have for us today? Well, I guess I have an adventure prepared or something. All right, all right, all right. Let's, no, I'm going to go to bed. Okay, well. Good night. It's, it's good, I guess. I Short me. Um, Get on with it. What was that? Okay. Get on with it. All right, well, okay. Well, last time... Our destined band, Chuckle Fox, made their way deeper into the giant metal cube in the swamp. Uh, they traveled onto the second floor, which they found covered in in blood and what seemed to be uh, like the the remains of some kind of testing site. They began searching around, in which they uncovered documents, several documents left behind by someone, some researcher or alchemist who'd been working out of this this area. Um, they they continued on through several rooms as they as they made their way into the subsequent rooms. They were attacked by these strange perfectite creatures. Uh, these entities that sort of loomed around um, that looked like de decahedrons with spikes that shot electricity. Uh, and they got into a, to a good old rough and tumble with those, um, which they, they managed to do okay. Also, during all of this, Rahua was, was gathering sunlight. Um, following following this, they started traveling into some of the, the rooms on this floor where they found a larger alchemical lab, which had mostly been abandoned. Um, they found a room with, like, smashed perfectite bits in it, uh, along with a chest, which they have now taken to lugging around and have yet to open. Uh, then they also found a hole uh, in one of the rooms, a hole that led down to the deeper... Deep, well, deepest level of of the cube uh, where Oren had briefly gone down before being assailed by spectral hands. Um, during all of this, they were also a bunch of assholes to the best character in the campaign, Picturn Squelchfoot. Um, and Picturn is sort of uh, sort of sort of taking that to heart and um, is uh, kind of kind of kind of sad right now but uh that is basically where we left off they had uh basically rallied to to find Picturn and said some things to him uh our our good friend <clears throat> baldrick had been in the alchemical lab working and investigating there trying to find more information they have this chest they have a, a hole that leads down to a larger larger chamber where Orin briefly saw a glowing chest in a murky mire but then again was attacked by spectral hands before flying out and that about sums up where we are at i'm just gonna bring us right back into the action here as oh, yeah. we come back here and uh also you know i'll uh i'll drag uh i'll drag another like little little buddy onto here let's let's have a rahua it's a rahua here we go rahua you step down the stairs after uh soaking in sun following uh last week's little little discoveries what are you all doing now killing you i think it's oh. time we left this we have to go into the swamp and drink water no 
All right. Uh, oh, I love swamp juice. We have to hunt down the game master and really take control of our lives. If yeah, there exactly. is nothing left for me to investigate in this room, Thurston, mm-hmm. uh, I'm going to look into a way to descend down into the pit below safe. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. You can. All right. I'm going to move there then. Yeah. Before I fall down there, I'm going to take maybe the rug that's in the alchemical room and I'm going to toss it down. Okay. It what, like but what's going to tie catches the room together? in the air and then like lands. Um, roll me a d20. Okay. Got an eight. It catches. It goes a bit to the to the west. You can tell it partially lands in some of like the submerged water, which soaks up into it. Okay. Nothing else happens. Nothing else happens. Okay. Are we going down here or what? Uh, do we still have a Picturn hoist aloft in our hands? Uh, well, Picturn was, like, kind of backing away from you, and then Rahua marched menacingly down the stairs. I mean, Rahua's Kramer just moment. menacing. Um, and then Picturn had sort of stopped, and that was kind of where we were going to start up things. Oh, hi, hi Rahua. Oh, He's hello, our friend now. I'm your friend now? What? Oh. What? Oh, I'm... Thought I was always your friend. You, you are. I mean, you're a sort of like an guy. acquaintance, mostly, Picture, and I don't know you that well. But that's oh. good. I'm glad you're our friend now. That's wonderful. What did I miss? I thought uh, only a couple of minutes had passed. I was just sunning myself. We found a precision of some of the most devastating, terrifying, and depressing documents that we had yet found. We also then, found a big hole. Yes, we did find that as well. And then Baldric said some things to Picturn, and now Picturn is depressed. But we have fortunately cured him of this ailment. Is, is that true? Is Picturn actually not depressed anymore? Are you? I look at Picturn. Picturn, are you still depressed? I like the idea that you turn to him with, again, your glowing armor. Like, yeah. still <laughs> wet, and they're like, oh! Yeah. Glowing uh, armor, eyes glowing green, covered in the cowl. On a scale of one to ten, how sad are you? I am depressed by you right now, Picton. Yes, well, you know, I kind of feel like I think my sister felt on the day of the summer festival, the bad one. Now, as I said, that entire festival went real south real fast after, you know, the cart got loose and, oh, all them chickens everywhere. That was no good. And, you know, oh, I thought I, was we... one with the pigs. What? I thought that was the one with the wild hogs eating people. Well, yeah, that came later. Oh, I... Don't you listen to anything? First of all, the carriage got let loose, and then it rammed into a barn, and that sent the chickens going everywhere. But once the chickens started going everywhere... We're thinking, Orin, get Baldrick. He'll want to hear this. (laughs) (laughs) Mr. Baldrick! (laughs) Mr. Baldrick! Orin actually was just going to heal himself up, but he's like, Mr. Baldrick, Picture has something important to say. And he starts doing medicine checks on himself. How much damage does a coring charge. <laughs> coring charge? <laughs> Great idea, Mr. Bodrick. We can give it the picture, and as he runs into the enemy, he can explode. <laughs> no, I'm still assessing how to get down into the pit, so, you know. Well, we've no, got Pickard grappling hooks. Sort of, he's sort of still depressed. I think we can address that later. I want to know about the hole. What? Show me the hole right now, please. All right, I will show it to you. Pick turn, come along. Um, and I am going to. Oh my god! I don't know <laughs> what this does. Uh, Whenever you move your character, it has like you've created some I think kind it of. It permanently <laughs> has him. You have you have him in the initiative thing. You still technically have him in a turn, so that's why. Oh my god. You so he is you, merely you to oh. oh. <laughs> that, that a thing. Like, okay. Briefly, we saw every means by which Tannhauser could have walked through this room. Yeah, many <laughs> creatures, but which you chose the wrong one again, Tannhauser. Okay. When will you learn? Speaker, have you ever seen that gif of uh, 
like the gif or the animation where the guy's looking at the rain, but the beam thing is like you've memorized all of the Dark Soul bosses' attacks, so he goes to the rain. Yes, like, oh, <laughs> he, like just teleporting left and right. That's what it was. <laughs> all right, uh, Shanhouse is going to push past Baldrick. So we're going to want to descend. Yeah, um, trying to do that carefully. Well, fortunately for you, I have a climbing kit. And uh, I'm going to take that out. I'm going to start hammering in just some uh, uh, pistons. Um, Titans? Whatever. <laughs> I don't okay. care. Whatever, don't Titans, whatever, that whatever that is. is. Titans, you're right. I'd like oh, to make an Aaron declaration. He has pistons. <laughs> oh, oh. Into the pit. <laughs> Classic speaker D move. Get something wrong. Go, oh, I don't care. And then it's like, I, <laughs> I choke slam you. You better start caring, fucko. <laughs> Give me a no, reflex, nihilism Dave, is bad. Don't care about anything. I will. I will <laughs> continue. Nothing more than to make a reflex save. Thank you. Nineteen on the dice. You're good. You're good. The the, the ground here, 22. as determined by prior um by prior complications, is fairly slippery. But you manage to come in here and and put some pythons into into the like the sort of metal work of of the floor, um, getting them just just enough that you you are fairly certain this rope will not collapse unless the entire floor here collapses. I turned to everyone. I'm fairly certain that this rope will not collapse unless the entire floor collapses. In which case, we'll have to get really good at jumping. Okay, Orin so jump in. Uh, I, oh, Orin, yes, you. He's going to say he has wings. That's what's going to happen here. Mr. Tannhauser, I have an idea. It's so we have, idea? don't have to worry about it further collapsing. Uh, Orin will go... Like, huh. He'll just pitter patter over with his little bird feet, just over to like one of the tables in here, and he'll take the spare rope. And it's like, if we tie, if we tie the rope, like kind of like in the middle of this table, and then like lay it longwise, it'll like be braced up against the wall of the door, and that rope can then attach to your rope. So if it ever like crumbles or so, it'll still be attached to that, and the table could be an anchor. Do it. That's actually okay. really good plan, Oren. Yeah. Okay. I'm proud of you, buddy. Or I like to imagine. trying to slowly drag the table. Like, Rahua, could you help me? I'm too oh, weak sure, and bird iron for this. Uh, sure, I, uh, yes, I can help you. I like to imagine whenever you're doing that little pitter-patter noise, Oren's arms are just out at his sides like a T-pose. He's just going like <laughs> back and forth, like wobbling side to side, like. <laughs> and also, it's it's important to note, Oren is tied for highest wisdom in the party, so this makes complete sense. He's very wise. Yeah. <laughs> very, very wise. wise. Know what I'm doing. Also, is there a drug rug in there? Uh, uh, I threw what? that rug down. It's not no, there yeah, anymore. Yeah, they, yeah, uh. yeah, it was it was tying the room together. But it really was. <laughs> <bothered. laughs> what the fuck, Baldrick? Because I, I wanted to see room. if it would trigger any more attacks. In fact, if possible, I'd like to continue throwing junk down there so we can have something to stand on. All right, pick turn, get in here. We have a whole bunch of crates and barrels here, Mr. Bodrick. We could throw those down, too. What do you need, Mr. Rahua? I, I mean, Rahua, I, I, I don't, I don't. He coming, um, anyways. Thurston, <laughs> what the fuck I, I would like to, to I would like to start throwing <laughs> junk down into the pit before we carry on with this inane sidetrack. That's why I carry, that's why I brought Patreon over, you can throw him in. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> Take the rock <laughs> Brian Cowley. Pick him up, throw the baby. Oh, the baby. You know, I tried really hard last session to get him to be quiet, and then it's just like undone, and now you're back to like, oh, I wish you would be quiet, and I'm just like, you people don't deserve me. <laughs> we're, we're just I'm trying to make- I'm an avatar of chaos. I can't, ex I'm, I don't have to explain shit. Are, are, are you suggesting <laughs> that I should go down? Because I'll go down there if you won't. No, don't- Can I just throw trash in the hole? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I assume that's what you. you're doing. You I'm gonna kill you. Throwing trash in the hole. <laughs> so let's. <laughs> we're trying to do. Why are you stalling? <laughs> so, so there's just to let You're you know what I, what I want to do, <laughs> so you can fit yeah. me in wherever you'd like. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I want to set up the table rope system, so if it ever collapses, we still have a rope with an anchor. Yeah. And I want to basically do first aid on myself, and I want to do first aid on Rahua. I can't do it to anybody else because they've all on cooldown. Because um, yep. I don't think an hour has passed, so I want to do some checks and so, so everyone. If they want to role play, I guess. All right, cool. I'll just Absolutely. do math. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, 
you know, uh, we got this rope here set up. Looks like Oren's doing a good job with it. I suppose I could go down there, you know. <laughs> that wouldn't be the first squelch for who's walked into adventure before. <laughs> oh, all right. What a crit on a 32 nature for healing. Yes, that'll great. Oh, thank you. 48. Only 11. Thanks, game. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. You got to I'll get Rahua here. Picton, oh. yeah. why is your family called Squelchfoot? Well, that's a funny story, because we didn't grow up in no swamps, but you see, sometimes it got real rainy where we were at, and I guess one of my great, 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 yeah, great. Yes, uh, Baldrick. I'm gonna lose my mind steadily here. I climbed down the rope. <laughs> like as he's as he's going great 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 he just starts climbing I'm down. trying to I, I quit fuck it continue <laughs> we know it's dangerous who cares <laughs> I knew you fucking red haired reprobate we're all gonna die someday can I I've please I've already done that Mr. Tannhauser it's not great you're pushing me you're pushing me, boy. But we wouldn't throw it shit into the hole. <laughs> I'm trying to ask for. Jesus Christ! Well, it's I wanted to ask to be you... underground, Junior. <laughs> you guys, you guys are in a mood today. <laughs> <laughs> also, thank you for the healing, Oren. You are my best friend. Okay, I feel house. like for my own personal safety, the the chair recognizes Erndel. <laughs> yes. Is there sufficient junk beneath the rope for us to stand on? Yes, I, I will say there is enough for like a five by five foot area of cool. like. Yeah, there's some. Thank junk you. There. That was all I wanted to ask, and everyone was giving me a hard time about it. Oh. <laughs> 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 but you're, oh man, I have so much temptation. Just go down there and move the rug. <laughs> I don't give a shit about the rug. The rug's off course. I was throwing like crates if, and shit. If I if I didn't think that Erndel would come to my location and kill me, that would be the next bit. No, uh, move the rug. Move the rug. I'm sorry, move it. Do it. It, it, it really ties the swamp water together. Move it around like a goddamn bounty paper towel. See if I give a shit. The rug is not my point of concern. We have turned this bit, which could take one minute to resolve, into a ten minute bit with no resolution. Oh, oh, fuck. The rock grind way. Yes. Explode. <laughs> I'm, I'm sensing some tension from you, Erindel. What's going on with you? Uh, it's called hypertension, and I've got it. <laughs> Is it possible? Oh, to we love this? you, buddy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Let's descend. I'm done with this room. So, uh, Tannhauser, I believe you were going to descend first. I will take the first napkin, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, you're you're getting the rug. Really the party leader. You're. you're... <laughs> As the revolutionary head, I will be the vanguard. Go for it. <laughs> and I will. Okay. I will leap into the into the swamp death from the rope i assume you are sliding down the I, rope. That, that is the word that is <laughs> there the we operative go. verb please roll for rug burn <laughs> thank you roll me a d20 for rug burn please Thank you. Damn it, Hokey! <laughs> same team, Hokey, same team! I'm telling you, this this go. team is in a mood today. I've got some <laughs> <rugby> points. <laughs> I missed a session. I gotta get two sessions worth of chaos out of one. Oh, that means hey. so. No, you're getting it out of one minute. <laughs> it's working! Hey, um, go back to being a tree. <laughs> Okay, uh, well, I'm going to activate this scene that probably not many of you can see right now. But, you know, here. Swamp. Let's, uh... Swamp. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, yeah. you can look at the stream, I guess. Um, all right, so so Tannhauser, you you slide down. Your, your beacon light illuminates this chamber. Um, you can see, uh, similar to what Oren saw before, there's like a metal floor further to the to the east, to the west. There's like water loping up. You're kind of on this um, rusted area. You can tell that the floor here is slanted, like, and you realize that the the entire sort of cube area of this perfectite uh, siege tower is slanted in the swamp. 
uh, far off you can see a small illumination of light uh, to the west from a chest that appears to be glowing under the water. Uh, you land on a plethora of garbage. Um, can you please give me a perception check? Yes, I would love to. Thank you. So you're saying that there is a plethora of garbage all around. That, that has been thrown down, yes. Excellent, excellent. Okay, 26. Okay. Um, you, with your expert knowledge, begin to notice that around you there are slight disturbances in the ground. Um, in fact, you can see with your own powerful, you know, magical vision, um, like, etheric disturbances that, the, 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 you know, would be the telltale signs of, like, some kind of haunt manifesting, which you would know because Orin had sort of brought up being attacked by, like, spectral hands down here. Um, you can tell that you probably don't have a lot of time to react, but you basically have, like, a turn, like, a, a fully on three action turn to do something while you are down here. Okay, so, and after that turn, I think I'm going to be attacked? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, um... Shield. Okay. Laughing Shadow. Okay. And then I am going to uh, take out a torch. Okay. And I'm going to throw it to the periphery to illuminate more of this area. Okay. Um, give me let's... give me an attack roll for that. Sure, sure. Uh, Just like a weapon attack roll. It'll yeah, give yeah. me the rough the rough math I need for a ranged thing. Ah, uh, 17 on the dice. Okay, um, I'm just gonna roll a thing here. Okay. Uh, okay, so, yeah, you, you toss a torch. Um, it goes... Uh, what kind of torch do you have? Is this, like, an ever-burning torch or a, like, torch torch? Um, this is a, a torch-themed torch, yes. Okay, so you toss it. It, um, briefly will illuminate an area over here. Um, uh, let's see here. I'm gonna do my bestest. Okay, yeah, yeah. It briefly illuminates an area that you can kind of see before it goes dark again. Did that um, look like a fountain or, like, a door that, like, you would, like... Because that looks almost like a submarine... Like um, uh, door handle. Give me a perception check sure, to sure. see what you see as you like toss this. Um, as you toss this. All right, sounds good. Uh, twenty-four. Okay. Um, you in that moment are able to see that sort of section. It, what it actually looks like, um, for the briefest moment, you you kind of see it under this water again. It's it's really tough. It um. It, it appears to be not like a hatch you would pull, but almost like a a valve, like a valve you could turn. Yeah. So you're not sure what the purpose of it is. It's it's under there. Um, it's you know only illuminated for a few seconds as you toss this thing and it splashes into the water. Okay. Does it look like uh, that it could like turning it would activate water, or does it look like turning it you can lift it up and then you'll be able to go deeper into the it looks like turning it would do something. Not necessarily. It doesn't necessarily look like it's a door on it. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then, lastly, I guess as a free action, can I call up to my buddies? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna say, I'm about to be attacked. Come down and help me turn this valve. And on that note, can you give me a reflex? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Twenty-one. Okay. Um, so as you shout that up, uh, almost on cue, um, spectral hands burst out from the ground, and they begin tearing at your like at your legs, basically underneath your 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 knees, and then pulling and tearing, uh, grabbing at you. Um, now you stop that. You take uh, eleven points of bludgeoning damage as oh, these, geez. like, begin, like, tearing into you. Um, and you can tell that they're trying to to grab onto you, uh, and it seems to, like, like be around you, but you can see other areas of these, uh, these, these, these hands sort of moving about here. Uh, I want to see if I can represent this for you. 
let's do yeah that should be good uh i think you do you you maybe see this template i've put down yeah, that's kind of the area where they're 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 bursting out of here okay okay um all right so that has happened what i will do uh right now i think is check upstairs with the the rest of the party what are you all doing so you're kind of like around the edge of this um only tanhauser has brought himself down into the into this lower level what are the rest of you wanting to do especially once you hear tanhauser shout and those of you who are leaning over the edge you can see down because tanhauser glows with the magnificence of of sun sunlight um you see that he is being attacked by these spectral hands. Um, I don't. We're not quite an initiative yet, so let me know what you all want to do up there. How, like, like how how deep is the hole? Like, what's the fall distance? Um, I believe we established last session it's thirty feet down. It's pretty thirty fall. feet. It's pretty far fall. Yeah, okay. it, it was. It was uh, enough. It was enough that you you like couldn't quite do it in one move, but like Orin could with a fly because he can do. You know, I do down. have cat fall. Uh, I treat falls as uh, 25 feet shorter. Oh, very uh, good. Yeah. So I believe in that case, just hearing Tanhauser shout up, I'm just going to look over to everybody at the edge of the hole and just be like, well, look alive, I guess, and just fall backward into it. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, roll me a D8. Oh, boy. Eh. Valley. Seven. Okay, and you're going to land right beside, uh, to the west of your your friend Tanhauser. Now, as you nice. as you land again, there are these like spectral hands that are moving about. Uh, as you enter the area, can you give me a reflex save, please? Oh, handsy. handsy. Okay, reflex save. There it is. Yeah. Reflex. Eh. I'm okay at that one. That is a twenty-seven. A 27, that is very good. Uh, so these things, these these hands attempt to grapple you. They only do seven points of damage to you as they start like grabbing and tearing at you. Ow. Okay. Um, it's like but you, you, you land. Him. So that's kind of like your first action. I'll, I'll like give you two other actions this turn as you like drop down and then see Tannhauser there. Okay. Um. So they're only uh, okay, coming okay, out sorry, of this... I have an, There's an important thing in, in chat. Um, oh. Would you like to give me an acrobatics check as you fall to make it look really cool and maybe generate panache as you fall? I, oh, yes, of course. Now, uh, you, you're, if, you're fishing if, if for the nat one, though. If something, yeah, absolutely. Because <laughs> if you roll a nat one, you're absolutely going to have been, uh, <laughs> been, been knocked prone when you landed. I'm just saying, it seems like Not something Bali would do. when I land. Okay. Uh, 23. 23. Yeah. No, I'll, here, I'll even, I'll even click on the little panache. Button. Yay. Okay, you have, you have two more actions. You've landed. These things are sort of grabbing at your legs and around uh, these spectral arms that are coming up out of the ground. They seem to like even move through the garbage that has been dropped here. Yet when they like touch you, they, they seem corporeal. Oh, my greatest enemy. Hands. Yeah, I'm just going to move out of the... Uh... They seem to only be coming out of this box, right? The this square worth of uh, yeah, yeah, that, like roughly that area, yeah. Okay, uh, I'm going to first uh, get out of there. Okay. Um, and so at this point, you're kind of like stepping into the water. So any squares like further west of where you are, like this way, that's all going to be difficult terrain and water. Essentially. Okay, so it's all water. Um. And I believe they they seem incorporeal, so like trying to jab at them isn't gonna do me much good, yeah. Uh, probably not. Um, like mechanically, you're guessing this is probably more akin to like a haunty haunt, like like spectral right. manifestations. You, you like typically this is where you'd call like you know your resident priest to <laughs> to banish this shit. Yeah. Luckily, um, we don't have that. In that case, um, I don't really need to light up my pistols because Tannhauser, I believe, is already shining bright like a diamond over there. Mm -hmm. um, True. But I am just going to go ahead and pull out the luminous dagger pistol and light it up and see if I can't get more, um, more of a view of what's going on around here. 
Yeah, give me a perception check then. Sure. Uh, kind of mid. That's an eighteen. Yeah, you're not really seeing anything else beyond the like the spectral hands bursting out of the ground beside you, though the water lapping in the and the chest. Uh, you pull out your your you know daggers, but they they aren't really giving you much more vision than the holy beneficent beacon that is Tanhauser. All right. Uh, yeah. In that case, I'll just call up to everyone. Make sure you don't touch the ground unless you want to get grabbed. All right, let's uh, let's cut back. Who wants to who wants to go next on the se- uh, on the upper floor level? Uh, suppose I'll go down the rope instead of falling like a goober ass. Okay, yeah. yeah. Hey, I so, landed on my feet. Yeah, because you've got the stats for it. Can Hell you yeah. roll me a D eight, Baldrick? Slash R one D eight. Six. Cool. Uh, yeah, so you, you begin sliding down. Uh, you come up on this area just to the southwest of Tannhauser. Uh, as you come down, can you give me a reflex save? Yeah, you got it, dude. Thank you. Uh, I'll give you a 32 with a net 20. Uh, you land on the exact point of accumulated garbage that you had thrown down here that none of the hands seem to to even like be able to... to incorporeally pierce through it um, you land in the absolute perfect spot where your plan has worked and you take no effects from the hands uh, you see Erndil is just wasting our time <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, now that I am down here yes. is there any real so I'm assuming the hands are likely a trap that have been laid that is currently going off because, again, those hands were above, too, in various chests and other shit. Mm-hmm. Is there any means by which I can distract them? Or are they only attracted to living things? Uh, it seems like right now they're they're mostly attracted to living. Like, the only thing you've seen them come for is anything that is that is alive. Would moss count as alive? Um... Quite possibly. All right, then I will. Uh, how many? God damn, how many quick alchemy do I have left? I don't know. I'm looking. Hang on. I believe I left a note of it somewhere. Would you trust? I have their party's lives. Yes, I would, Chad. I have four left. That's okay. it, and then I'm out. So, uh, just for an experiment's sake, I'm going to whip up with quick alchemy a yeah. moss bomb. And I'm going to chuck it somewhere where they can reach, obviously, but aren't necessarily, you know, uh, at, I suppose. Well, pick pick a point for me. I'll pick there. Yeah, okay. I'm just uh, doing we... shape charts because I don't want to blast volley yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking moss. Yep. Well, remember, moss doesn't do damage to anyone um, unless it's like a rot thing, so well, that's what I mean. She's yeah. rotten, so I'm kind of. <laughs> oh, that's fair. To that's that. fair. That's fair. That might that might that might have an effect. Who knows? Okay, I hate you. <laughs> yeah. All right, moss moss bomb craft one throw one draw strike and toss. Uh, sixteen. Uh, the bomb lands there. Um, it seems to have no effect on the hands. Um, no, I tried. Can you give me a perception check? Sure. Go. Uh, 24. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, you, you toss it, and it seems to have no effect on the hands, which are still just only coming up near, like, you and some, some trailing ends by where Volley has rushed out of the area. Now, there are enough that keeping the number, even if, like, more people joined, the hands would just go after everyone equally. They would not, like run out of people to attack, would be my assumption on this. That's what you're seeing. Like, they seem to just, like occupy spaces. They're not like a cluster of hands moving around. Let's try to keep our numbers small down here. That way we don't end up with everyone getting swamped by these things. Mm-hmm. So you you came down here, you quick bombed. Uh, you have one action left as well. I will move off the edge towards the thing. Okay. 
So how far do I get to go? Uh, so up to this area here, right, like the line, the the line cool. where Volley is, that's normal. Anything else is going to be two square movement. That's into fine. Water. Okay, that's fine. I'll stay there. Cool. All right, uh, I'm going to pass it back to Orin or Rahua, who would like to go next up on the upper floor. Go ahead, Hulky. Actually, I was going to say you should probably go down first just because I'm heavier if something should go awry like a nat one uh, and that rope snaps. I'd rather you not waste a fly to get down there. I mean, it's it's infinite. It's just my movement speed. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'm just yeah. fucking stupid then. Yeah, All right. yeah I got wings. Yeah. <laughs> you, so will... <laughs> Rahul will advantage. gesture to Orin. Well, I'll see you down there. And he'll jump off the side, reach out his arm to grab the, the rope and start, like, doing an acrobatic slide down. I love that you're like, I'm going to do this and look cool. Please, please roll me in at one on this acrobatics check, Hulky. A hundred percent. We cannot sacrifice him on the altar of the nat one acrobatics check. We can. We can. Yes, we, we can. can. <laughs> yes, we fucking can. Yeah, we absolutely can. Oh, okay. Oh, or or oh. Ac- 25. <laughs> Acrobatic <laughs> tree comes all the way down. Uh, can you roll me a D8, Helky? Yes, I can. Helky. Helky. Now. Where does Rahua land? Seven. Rahua lands right here. And Rahua gets a, a panache for he that. Gets yeah, <laughs> he did it. Yeah, he did it. Yeah. <laughs> Little did you know, I spent last session multiclassing again. <gasps> Even before. No, it's too. giving you panache. You will like break boundary system, <laughs> but your character has it now. He he takes off the the head and is just Zedek. Okay, Not roll, again! <laughs> roll me, please roll me a reflex uh, save as you land with a plus two circumstance bonus for your amazing panache that you have, have earned here. Thank you. Oh. Uh, this is where he rolls the natural one on the reflex. Oh, I was... No, okay. Another 25. Another, Jesus. Another 25. Um, well, okay, okay, okay. So that's not, um, it's not like enough to completely ignore it. So you will still take eight points of bludgeoning damage as these hands begin grabbing and grabbing at you. Um, no but, touch, you know, no touch. Yeah, 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 you're you're there. Uh, you have two actions left this round because um, you've, you've landed here. You're like in this sort of sp- spectral event, this haunt that's going on. What would you like to do, Rahua? I would like to move outside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> trundle, trundle, trundle. Okay, what action left? Uh, I'm going to cast light as a cantrip. Oh, okay. On yourself? Yeah. Yeah, sure. I think that just makes you glow like a torch, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we are just gonna flashbang anything that is in this. Uh, sure will. Oh. Sure will. Oh, oh. oh no! Oh god! <laughs> so, oh. so in the water to the northwest of you what? is oh no no is um an entity that um seems to be some kind of horrific amalgamation of flesh and scales and a substance you know as rot um bulbous tumorous popping sounding rot um Mm. it appears as though it has like the digits of a claw for a head uh some kind of underslung portion of a jaw mismatched hands again scaled flesh that is also being like pushed by the bulbous rot matter inside of it um and as as this like thing like like is lit up it kind of rises out of the water um like towering this thing's like 12 feet but you can see that most of the like scale matter of it is um like stretched like it's it's obviously not enough scales or whatnot for a large sized creature but it's just this like brought within it is like pushing it um and like as it comes out you just hear this (laughs) this like bass sobbing but it's not emanating from the mouth of this creature it's 
emanating from the popping of the rot boils on it. Oh. Weird. Oh! Okay, uh, so cut back up. So, uh, Oren, uh, you don't see any of this. Uh, instead, you hear a uh, volley shout, oh no, followed by... <laughs> Uh, but you kind of recognize, recognize that sound. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You absolutely do, my buddy. Oren's standing on top of the edge of that hole. And he, he is. Has his little, he has his wooden staff, and he kind of grips it tightly. He takes a deep breath, mm -hmm. and he just kind of just is... <sighs> and just falls forward. Basically, as he falls forward down the hall, spreads his wings out, and okay. uh, it's going to be a bit complicated. So I have to run this through what I'm wanting to do. Okay. So he can he could technically glide. Yep. In a way, and as I'm gliding through, I see where Valerie and Baldrick are. Mm -hmm. I want to be south of Baldrick, that one square. Yeah, aim here. For it. Yeah. yeah. So I'm basically just kind of glide down there. So. Mm -hmm. As I do so, um, will you allow me two actions or three actions? Two, because basically two, okay. moving is, yeah, yeah, it's going to be two. Okay, he's then going to basically land down, look at him, and you'll see, and you see, Oren has a serious expression. He sees this thing, he recognizes the sound of it all. After hearing what Tannhauser's read to him, everything, he is just stone face but deep inside shit's all torn up on him as he sits as he as he lands down he'll basically just go like just go he'll yell at everyone going it's not him anymore kill it just get rid of it and he'll cast protector tree okay he cast protector tree pretty much at let me see pretty much right in front of it pretty much right in this hey, spot they have there right there Okay. Yeah, right there. And that'll okay. be the end of his turn. Sure. Okay. Um, so at this point, if you could all set yourselves into combat mode and roll some oh. initiative for me. I would be delighted. Thanks. I like that Rahua's little thing on the initiative tracker shows me the panache symbol. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm about to cry. Oren. Oh. That was interesting. Um, okay, so I've got... I've got... I don't have Orin or Baldrick yet in here. Oh, sorry. Oren? I apologize. I was, I was setting up music oh. for the uh, thing. Oh, for the sad... Well, okay, it better be Plin Plin Plon, please. Um, yeah, sorry. I was setting up battle music for us. Orin got a 25 for his initiative. Oh, okay, you gotta... Think. I'm gonna update you. And uh, oh, Baldrick? I'm, I'm super, I'm I super got, sorry. I got you. I got you, dog. I clicked Update. the whole wrong thing. I even missed that up. No, nope. it's good. Erndale, you still there? Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, did okay. I, I, I sorry. Just, I, I had myself muted because I didn't want to interrupt anything Zorn was doing. I was saying I was clicking per the thing and it wasn't going forward. Oh, okay. Just uh, just roll roll it on on its own and then I can. If uh, it was if it was gray, uh, you didn't put yourself in combat mode like I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah there I we go. Do that. No, mine. I've been. Oh, oh yeah, twenty. Nice. All right. Uh, that's two. That's two net twenties for me. Uh, terrific. All right, Baldrick, you get to go first. Okay. Uh, hell. He's going to look at the the big, sobbing, writhing thing over there, and kind of without Oren's permission for anything, he's just gonna start chucking bombs at it. If you're wondering so, why I have colored squares there, I'm just marking where the difficult terrain is. Good. Just so you can see it. Uh, let me see here. What the hell do I have? I used my moss bomb, so that's out of there. You know what? I'm going to just, I'm going to chuck a fire bomb at it. Alchemist fire, moderate. Let's see what happens. Hey. I'm assuming this will not do much because dragon, but we'll see. It's better to learn now than not at all. Hit with a 23. Uh, that'll hit, yep. Okay. Nine. 
Uh, yeah, so you will hit it for nine points of damage, and then it will also take persistent fire. It is on fire. It roars as you strike it. Well, it's not resistant to fire. <laughs> oh. Remind me again, Thurston. It is yeah. one to quick alchemy, and then I can do my remaining action as a draw and throw because of quick draw. Uh, yeah, yeah, so you can draw and throw because of quick bomber. So quick alchemy. I'm going to see how room. much this lesser moss bomb does. Sure. So that's down, down to two. Okay. Throw. Draw. Throw. Uh, that's strike ten. No, I need map. Here we go. Go. Toss. Oh, oh there you 18. go. Eighteen. Uh, that will hit. Roll me Dimaggio. Thrown for ten damage. Uh, wait, you have the moderate. Oh, why did not? Fire damage there. One sec. No, I, I clicked the damage on the. Why did it roll alchemist for, for fuck's sake? Take off the item bonus, I guess, but I rolled for the moss bomb. Yeah, I, that might just be a thing with how we set it up. One sec here. I'll grab it. It's all right. I did it. It's nine. Okay, okay nine. Okay, so does, that... a 20, does, a, does a 23 still hit is my question. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, um, so good. it does, and it strikes it, and then this thing sobbing intensifies. <laughs> As you can tell, this thing begins steering over at the moss, spreading over, uh, popping more of the 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 rotten boils on its uh, on its body, uh, and then the, the, the cries become much louder from it. And um, yeah, uh, do you, is that your last action? That's all I had. Yeah, that's the all end. All right, yeah, turn. Cool. pass that over to me. Uh, well, this this boy goes, um, and with that, oh, oh Lord, it is not happy. It is going to move. It moves around the protector tree to here. It then, Unleashes oops. If I was uh -oh. getting in the right position. There we go. Unleashes a 30 foot cone hitting all of you. Terrific. As it comes up, the air around it is now filled with sobs. There are a couple things that are going to happen here as this occurs. Um, but like it moves up and these sobs are just just tearing into you. Um Perhaps, perhaps none more than Orin, but also Rahua, who is very close. Um, I require all of you. I think I can do this. I think this will work. One second. I'm going to try a thing here. We'll see if it works. Hmm. Um, actually, it will, but then it's forcing me to do it. Okay. Um... I require all of you to give me a reflex save. Okay. Um, could I use my shield block action in any useful way? Uh, I believe your shield block reaction is just to like increase your AC, right? Oh, he gets the other net twenty. Yeah. Yay! This is like I'll explain what it's doing in a, okay. in a moment here. Sure, sure. Orin got a seventeen. Uh, I got, got a, a twenty-five. 25. Molly got a nat 20 with a third, uh, 20. brings it to a 33. Okay, um, so Volley, you critically succeed. Congrats. Uh, Tannhauser and Baldrick, you succeed. Yay. Rahua and Orin, you both fail. Uh, what happens as, as this thing advances? It like retorts back and just begins coughing. Bleh, bleh. And then it unleashes this torrent of rot material that goes flying out. Um, so I'm going to roll a couple bit of damage here. One sec, it's gonna be 17 and then 21. So um, I will apply this to the two who gave me their regular successes, which in this case is Tannhauser and Baldrick, you both succeeded, so you're just gonna take half damage from both of these. Okay. 
then um, Volley, you succeeded, so you are fine. Rahua and um, Oren, you will take full damage from both of these. As this, like, washes over you. Then, on top of all of that... Rahua, I require a will save, my friend. Oh, excellent. Oh, you no. are the closest you are within the A of E. 28? A, a 28 is very, very solid and means you are not affected by whatever shenaniganeries this thing has right now. But, like, you, you hear the sobs around you, and it's like it cuts to your core briefly. Um, but that that is it for for this thing's go. Oren, you're up. Oh, and then the the fire. Um, up, up, up. Not a lot. No, it'll take two more though. Boop. Okay, there we go. All right, Oren, you're up. Mm. As this thing yeah, has I'm... now like come out of the water and yeah, on you. Let me. Uh, what I want to do is try to get everyone healed a bit what I'm going to do okay what I'm going to do is I'm trying to see the AoE heal it in knowing from our past experience with the bot monsters are not necessarily undead all depending so it's like hmm, I can either experiment to see what happens or not so you just negate some damage that we uh, did to it so uh but I need, but I need to use all three of my actions, or else I would look to get some knowledge to see what this thing is. So I'm right. going to play it safe, and I'm going to. Mm, no, nah, I can't even move because I'm wanting to do a three action heal and get everybody. So, <laughs> with permission of the party, is it okay if I experiment so we get that info or not? I mean, we need to learn as much as we can. This thing's probably going to do right. some serious damage yeah. all right be ready for you to get healed though so i'm going to at a oh, second okay. level cast a three level heal and basically that will range i will get the range for you so it will hit it in 30 feet hey yes yeah, so i'll be doing a big old heal going ha and just to make sure i understand it correctly because first time i ever get the best with heal heightens for a three action heal uh heightened plus one the amount of healing or damage increased by 1d8 and the extra healing yeah, yeah. So basically, it says base eight plus one d eight, correct? Uh, yes. Awesome. Okay. So, or we'll go like, go like, just burn it, just get rid of it. Gorgamagu doesn't deserve this, and so he will do. <laughs> Let me see if I can do the uh, coding of this right. Yeah. Of 1d8 plus 8. That's a terrible roll on the die, but 9 uh, nine positive healing uh, to everyone around. Cool. Uh, I can probably just... Can you, you... Yeah, you can just highlight everyone. Here you go. Right, that requires all three of his actions, and that is now into Orm's turn. And as you as you you channel this 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 you know natural life restoring energy in here, you can see the wounds on this this shell thing begin to knit up as you do so. Okay, that is the end of Orm's turn. All right. Uh, Tannhauser, uh, to start off your turn, I need you to give me a, uh, I need you to give me a, um, reflex save, please. Shall be done. Thank you, my amigo. Oh, oh. Here we go. Ooh, will hero point that in that one? Uh, uh wait. We can't. can't. Oh, we can't no more. Yeah. We can't do it no more, we Bob. Can't do it now. We oh, changed no. the rule. Uh -oh, oh no! Uh oh no! Oh, this is no. Okay. All right. Well, what a hi, time for us to see go. this mechanic. Oh, okay. Um, oh. So glad you gotta hit me up now. All right. Uh, well, so <laughs> as as Tanhauser, you 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 prepare. Um, You've started your turn in this area, so the grabby hands uh, begin to grab at you again. Um, this time, 
probably distracted by the the oh no creature that has emerged from the, the murky Even depths the of this place. Even the ghosts are scared. Um, <laughs> the ghosts seem to grab onto you with twice as much ferocity. Um, they do 22 points of damage to you. Um, you are also partially now pulled in to the ground around you as the rusty metal underneath breaks from you being pulled. Um, and you are partially trapped in the ground, thus giving you the immobilized condition. As I struggle against these spectral hands bringing me into this horrible mire, Tannhauser is just going to struggling against the grip, press some buttons on his inlay, put his quantum engine into overdrive, and then simultaneously be here and here. And I'm going to activate dimensional assault to teleport away. Okay, okay, well, goes, one, we one sec. There's a complication on top of all of this. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I, I, I figured being immobilized was the complication. Oh, no, that's just the, the you critically failed against okay. this effect. Um, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Mr. I Chanhauser! This ah! one's good. I'm using this one. This comes from Sarah Grapes. Oh, this is this is mean, and I'm doing it. Um, for the complication entitled, Oh Shit, That Was Real. You are convinced the incoming source of damage or whatever effect uh, that forced you to make the save was an elaborate illusion or deception of some sort. Um... And um, you gain the confused condition as though trying to discern what is real. God damn, they put LS, they put DMT into my fucking <laughs> cy cyborg drip this weekend. Um, in this case, you, you gain the confused condition. You can spend an action to look around to try to suss out what is real and thus remove this confused condition. Or if you decide to go off um, attacking anyone, um, there's a chance you might attack one of your friends. Some of you may die. <laughs> yeah, 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 I wait, get it. Wait, We're your wait. target. <laughs> Bastard. Listen, if I spend my action, then I need to spend another action to move, and I'm not going to get any damage, which is a bad thing. So I would rather risk... I would rather get damage on the party. <laughs> I would rather... I would... The, the optimal play here oh, is God. to just okay. try to DPS the Monstar. <laughs> He's and keeping make... those uh, DPS numbers up. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, if, yeah. If, I, if I take that kind of damage again <laughs> from this creature attacking me and then standing in the ghost pit, uh, I'm fucked. I need to get away from the ghost peppers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> need to get away from the ghost peppers. Many rot. Handle it. Left side. <laughs> <laughs> More perfectionist tricks. Uh, I'm going to engage the teleportation. Okay. Yeah. Remember, if and you're now near I'm... the tree, it tries to protect you. That's fine, but I might think it's okay. the enemy. Okay. So, um, that means so you did true. it. Um... I'll uh, probably, I, if I were confused, normally I would not do the attack. Okay. But since I am confused, I think it makes sense for Tannhauser to lash out with the normal attack as part of this. Uh, Here spell. we go. Okay. 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 I. Yep. 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 Okay. Make your make your normal attack. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's oh, really really those. cool. Um, okay, but to represent the confusion effect. I would like you to roll me a DC five flat check here. So one through five is bad. You Anything else it. is good. That's Yay. good. Okay, yeah. 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 I saw it literally twirling on the five for a second. Oh, yeah. if, you rolled, if, if you rolled a one through five, I was going to redirect you and have you teleport next to one of your friends and do that. That would be Jump very scare. funny. 
that would have been. Okay, so yeah, uh, you do a crit. Oh, also, ha 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 ha. Uh, you'll also need to give me a will save now. Now that you're in the sobbing aura, uh, uh, but but start by start by giving me damage from your uh, your crit here. Critically oh, shit. I'm sorry. I just impulsively did the will save. Uh, I'll reroll that oh, that's at a zero point. That's, that's, oh that's, oh yeah, fair that's fair fair fair. As doo doo. Uh, that's better. That's, hey, 26. Okay. Oh yeah, you don't seem to be affected by the, um, but by, by the, but by the, the sobbing aura around you. We're used to this kind of shit you. by now. All right, Aww. all right. So now you can do the crit damage. Okay, cool. So crit is 14, 14. but there's more. But there's more, folks. Well, yeah, um, but you said you were doing the. This is the free attack as part of the thing. Right? Yes, it is. But there's still more, okay. um, because. Uh, I am attacking this thing in the rear. Would you cons and it is also being flanked by an evil tree. Would you consider it flat footed? Uh no. It, no? The, the tree does not flank. Okay, am I flanking because I'm behind it? No. It, it like every creature has like 360. Oh, yeah, there's no oh, facing. There's, there's no facing. Oh, okay, okay. In that yeah. case, um I will just do uh I think one extra damage. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Right. I will I will toss that up. All right, cool. Um, from the laughing shadow. All right, yeah. Now is the real thing with the map. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to uh, spell strike, shocking grasp, level one. Okay. Wait a minute, aren't we all in water? Well, that'll be very funny. That that <laughs> that, that is. I, um... I mean, all of my shit is electricity. If we die, we die. Uh, I don't like this. Wait, what about your slashy attack? All right, this that'll hit. That'll attack. hit. All right, ah. cool. So we'll roll the damage for the Excoriaturge. Yeah. Six plus one, so seven. Cool. And then it is time now for Shocking Grasp. This is the uh, generators within my form take effect. Cool. Uh, what do you say? Oh, out of curiosity, is this wearing metal armor? No. Okay. <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh, for 19 extra oh. damage. Nice. Yeah, that 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 hurt it. It yeah. lets out a whimpering roar and turns to <laughs> die, abomination, or alternatively, whichever strange puppet master is puppeteering this fake abomination. On account of my confusion, don't forget. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, we'll get back to that. Don't worry. No, <laughs> Excellent. Not just drop um, Am I still immobilized? Uh, no, no, because that you would have like teleported out of that. Boop. Um, great. All right. Cool. 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 All right. Vali, I believe you are up. Oh yes, indeedy. Uh, would this position right here be a flank? Yes. Excellent. So you're moving uh, there. Yeah. I'm gonna spend Can my you first give me a action. Will save? <laughs> no! <laughs> you have light guns! Oh, I do. Uh, but if I had shot from that <laughs> angle, I would have directly shot Rahula in the ass you, with the, the big beam. You your allies, that's fine. It's too late, you're there now, cry. It's too late, it's too late. It's too late. I do more damage from here anyhow. Yeah, 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 just, just give me that will save, please. Um, that's not very good. That's a 16. That's Gosh. not very good. I'm gonna, spend the, I'm gonna spend the hero point. That's the that seems, fingers. This seems this seems like a fair choice, Molly. Spend a hero it. quest. Yeah. Hero quest. Hero quest. Loser. Are you feeling brave tonight? Oh, ah, better. 25. That's better. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You know what? A 20. A 25 means you. You are not. Um. You were not so distraught over over this sadness while you were in there. So oh, that's good. I'm just a little sad. Yeah, yeah, just a little. Just, just, just a little. <laughs> just a smidgen. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna rush in. Okay. Uh, give it a stab using a sure. finisher, of course. Yep. And he is flat-footed. Okay. Let's rock and roll. Do it up. Nope, uh, not hit. bad. That is a 28. That will hit. Fishing for the crit there. It's fine. Yeah, well, so I have to play my flat footage to it. There we go. Yeah, we Wouldn't go. have changed yeah. that. You don't have to. The huh? You don't have to anymore. If they're flanking, you should all make me do it. Oh, it oh, does? Should? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, we established that last time and the time before. 
Yeah, I just okay, cool. Well, <laughs> yeah, if it know. doesn't show on the it's math, it. just let me know. Yeah, I'm not going seeing to... it in there, but that's okay. Yeah, All right. Should... Give 25 me... points of damage. 25 points of damage. Very good. Very good. It yeah. roars as you uh, make this this impressive strike on it. All right. Uh, and my panache is gone now. Um, And yeah, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to get back out of this aura, just because I think standing here is a poor choice. Uh, and yep. I have another action. Uh, so I'm going to just kind of jump forward, stab in, and then kind of try to spring off of it. I I want to roll an acrobatics check yeah, to get free abs panache. Absolutely. Let's see if you can. You can. I certainly can with a 29. Uh, and I'm going to get back uh, to my space over here. Uh, unless I need to move out of people's way. Nope. Uh, does anybody have like anything that would uh, require me to optimally be in a different space? You, sh you should no. be good. I'm okay. Good. All right, then I'm gonna get with my friends in our conga line here. Maybe don't be in the conga line is also a, a suggestion. Actually, that is true. How much movement would you say I could get off of that, Thurston? Um, up to your up to your move speed. So you got oh, up what, to my like, move speed. Yeah. Yeah, like, thirty five. We already yeah. learned that being close together is a bad thing. I just I, I'm fine. fine. Yeah. Just don't go so, through the middle square there, because oh yeah, don't go through the middle side. square. <laughs> you, can, you, can, you, can, you can move through friendly spaces, or you can deal with difficult terrain to the left. Yeah. So half your movement. But I think getting back here will be the best for now, just so we can try to get out of its aura as much as possible. Uh, all right, and that will be my go. I'm going to uh, come up behind Oren and just put a hand on his shoulder and give him a reassuring little squeeze. You see he's crying. Oh, buddy. Uh, Rahua. I have a quick question for you, Zorin. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. If I am to move somebody in the periphery or through the protector tree, will the protector tree make a strike on it? Or only if it's uh, The tree defensive? cannot attack. Uh, okay. It's all. The tree's yeah, a tree. You, yeah, yeah, if you get hit by this thing while you're adjacent to it, it'll do what it can to absorb the blow. I understand. That's all it does. Okay. You're the That's only fine. tree that knows Kung Fu. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, so your okay. moss mace is probably the most effective thing to this. Or start blasting. Yeah, start meleeing him. Or, or heal yeah, tan. I have options. Should. Uh, I should. Actually, I, might, I could heal tan, theoretically. I would like to also try something instead that might help everybody else. So Rahua is going to rear back. His wood panels are going to splay apart as astral energy begins pouring out of him. Sticking his hands towards the boss, and I'm going to cast Bone Shaker at third level. Ooh, okay. Ooh. okay. Shaking his bones. Shaking his bones. Not his bones. my bones. I need those to be Wait. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, on, please. All right. Uh. It tells me to select one token. I am selecting the token, please. Okay, so you're, you're, you're. I have to, I have to click it. Yeah, I he does to, that. I do uh. the save. That's right. That's right. Is. I'm going to villain point that place. Please, my I, oh. I hate Thurston oh. more. I hate Thurston. Don't worry. I rolled a two. Here comes the one. Everyone can be happy. Oh, no. Okay. No. I, yeah, gee. What a thing. You jinxed dog. it. What a, what, a, what a thing. Oh, oh, look. I'll just succeed. So you only do half damage. That's cool. Cool. Do your damage. Why are my dice yep. pink? Yeah, why are they pink? I, oh, I thought you were doing a bit. Oh, I thought you were doing a bit. Last session, ask, hey, you Hockey, why are dice pink? Why are they yeah. hot fucking pink? Yeah, it's uh, Rahu's Breast time. Cancer Awareness Dice. Oh, yeah. damn it, I was about to make that joke. <laughs> you lost the opportunity. <laughs> Kono Dioda. Oh. However, yeah, I and then I guess you can move it up to five feet. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that right now. He's gonna okay. go to the left five feet. Like that? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm, um, I'm doing it. 
You're doing it? Okay. Uh, one sec. I'm just going to apply the damage here. It's good. It's good. Okay. Cool. It's, uh... It's Baldrick, you're up. My man. Baldrick, fix it. <laughs> Baldrick, fix it. <laughs> well, I mean... I did. I'm like, thank you, TF2 Spy. Boy, that guy is really going outside today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's the he's he's been up and down. Asses. I've had to mute like five times because he's just going up and down. I'm about to go out there and shoot him. <laughs> Gun. Uh, we, can do, uh, we can do a sub goal to get you some spike traps or something. Like, just No, <laughs> give me a sub goal so I can get a fucking 12 gauge. <laughs> okay. I'm, I am. The, the gloves are coming off. Anyway, <laughs> no, in Minecraft, in Minecraft, he will. He, he, he doesn't work for it. To... I work for the government. In Minecraft, it doesn't in work. Minecraft, they know. In Minecraft, I've seen the Minecraft. documents. They don't work. The gloves are coming off. <laughs> they have documents about it. In Minecraft, I, in I Minecraft. can't talk to you about that. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna. I've got like two alchemist fires left. I'm gonna just try and put this thing down. Boot up. So, uh, well, first I'm going to move out, so I can only move half distance in this, yeah. right? What is my move? It's not very good. No, it's 20. Uh, so I can move to there. Yep. So I will. There, and I'm gonna do a alchemist fire strike, go... Go! That's a 22. Oh, the wow. item bonus came through in the clutch and let me hit. That will hit, yeah. You make so cumulative damage. damage. The item bonus let me hit because I'm wacky. Yeah. Uh, that's an 8. Okay. Oh, I, I realize we've been up and uh, applying the uh, splash correctly. Oh, it's because it's an extra 2, right? Yeah, because it's up to it's 4 because of my spell yeah, bonus. Make, make, make him take 4 there damage right Shoot. now. There we go. There you go. Okay, and I'll throw again at oh, uh, minus five. Fire. Fire. Fire, fire on it. it. A bit of arson. Ah, uh, not that still time. Do I now. have anything? Yeah, Do you have a hero point? One... Yeah. No, it's not worth it. I think it'll probably be down by one of you guys next time, unless you really like, like are afraid this thing's going to waste you. Speaker? I uh, I fear nothing. All right, you fear no man. Uh, it just takes splash damage then. Cool, I took so it. So it takes four, four fire. Cool, I got it. All right, um, does that give me my 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 boys go? Uh, uh -oh. yeah, there's something else I can do. Take it. All right, well, did you, um, did you splash him for an extra four? I did, I did. Okay, yeah. good. Um, well, the big boy uh, is gonna gonna start attacking here. Um, Tannhauser uh, has his want in our campaigns, and you know every campaign with you, Speaker D, uh, you've done the most damage, so you are the prime target. Um, so this thing big begins lashing out first with its strange jaw. Um, hitting you. Yep. Uh, for 18, but you'll only take 8 because the protector tree will die for you. Wow. Oh, my God. Wow. He wow. saved you. Welcome. I love yeah. that. Yeah, wow. here we go. Wow. wow. So, Tannhauser, you'll take 8. <laughs> then he's going to go at you with a claw. Very nice. Uh oh. Yeah. Here it comes. Oh, he. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Okay. The claw. Uh, that will do. Slash. Uh, 16 points, uh, eight Holy of which is rock damage. You, All right. You, I think you I'm still down. Have, you still have your shield up, right? Doesn't matter. No. It's one no. point. Okay. Yeah. Oh. And and I don't think, because how well, long I mean, does shield last? The shield's hardness is what I'm meaning. Uh, the shield, shield last. That's a good question. I I never use shield because it never matters. Yeah, shields um, have a hardness of five, so I don't know how much that would make a difference. But uh, I've been sitting by until the start of your next turn, but he didn't cast it last turn. Okay, so. okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's a right, never mind. Yeah, shield is kind of a funny spell. It's like a shield block for wizard. Yeah. Yep. You are now dying one. <gasps> yeah. Damn it! He's down. 
Danny? Then. And then it will. Oh, oh, oh. It's a decision, do I want isn't to do it? Here? Uh oh. Yeah, it's a decision, I, isn't it? <laughs> there is a decision to be it's made either, here. It's either go to us or hit him while he's down to potentially get a crit and kill him. That's hey, the team. I, it's obvious. I'm not telling him what to do. I'm laying yeah, out no, what no, he's thinking. Yeah, no, no, no. That thinking. thing's literally like. No. <laughs> uh, one sec. Uh, let's see. Will Tannhauser uh, receive his first level of rot? Find out next week. Yeah. <laughs> Oh gosh, yeah, I have to. God, he's like, he's just gonna like destroy your corpse here. Well, there were other people doing damage to him. There were, but it won't matter. He still misses your flat footed, unconscious. <laughs> I tried to help you. He's writhing. You know what happens when you try to go up against the revolution. <laughs> I'm dying. Ah. Tan out. The only part of Tanhauser that is sticking out of the muck water right now is his fucking rebreather. And it's just like. It's true. It's true. It's it's very. It's yeah, that was very family true. guy death pose in the middle of the murk. Oh my no! god! Partially um, submerged. Okay. Well, that's cool. Um, all right. Um, that's that's it for for my duder. Uh, Oren, you're up. Oh, and he then he takes some persistent fire. Yeah. Oh, persistent fire goes away though. But I still take two points. All right, Oren. Oren. Yeah. Oren, like, Valley, as you kind of, like, put a hand on his shoulder, you see that he's, like, as stone-faced as he can be, but you see that his his teeth are clenched and just tears are kind of going down his eyes. And you'll see you'll see that he'll uh, kind of, like, very shakily take his staff and go, kung, kung, boom, and then a huge thing of lightning comes down as, as he casts sudden bolts on the uh, abomination. The abomination has to make a tw has to make a DC 21 reflex save or take 4d12 electricity damage. Hey, uh... And as he does so, he goes, I'm sorry, Clark, I'm going to go boom. Okay, he succeeds, but at least he'll take half. Yep. For the total damage that I roll. Oh, there you couple, go. A couple in there, oh. so half of Not 31 bad. points of damage. About to say, you'd have to flub that spectacularly to not kill him at this point. Oof. Well, please wait. Um, the bolt of lightning comes from above the, like, from the hole, arcing from some strange point. Um far above you, and as it comes careening down, it hits this aberrant, draconic creature, which at that moment, as it is like tearing into Tannhauser's corpse, as, as there's the crackle and the, and, and the electricity, its head briefly turns, and like the, the digits atop its head twitch slightly, and its jaw quivers as it looks past the bulky form of Rahua at you, Oren. Um, and then, then it explodes as this lightning bolt hits it and sends trailing Icarus rot and e in every direction. Um, Rahua and Tanhauser, can you give me a reflex save, please? I mean. Oh no! Can Tenhauser make a reflex? Yes, save? he can. Yeah. It will. It will factor in all of the damage or all of the the, the problems. Sleepwalking. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna hero point that. Okay. Cool. Got a er Twenty-four. Okay. Cool. Twenty-four from the ground. Yeah. I do a. I do a sleepwalk flip. <laughs> he starts. He starts. <laughs> he starts break dancing. <laughs> Twenty-seven. Oh, much better. Okay. Um. But 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 one sec here. Okay, so um, 
Oops, that was fun. All right, so uh, you're going to go up to dying two. That was the only important thing. It's not that bad. And then our good friend Rahua here, you are going to take uh, 12 points of damage, of rot damage as you're like sprayed. I, I just assume Rahua, you're standing there and then there's this like this splatter of black ichor that comes over you um, as this creature is completely burst apart. It had swollen to a point and then just explodes coating Tannhauser who clearly had like leaned over in the right direction to avoid it um, and as you are splashed with this ichor um, Rahua your panache expires fuck and that's where we'll take <laughs> our break for today oh alright uh, to right, chat <laughs> we will be right back don't go anywhere we'll be right back All right. yeah, don't now go. we are back and Tannhauser is dying. Uh, good night. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's true. Like. It's true. So you cast Sudden Bolt, Oren. Yes. Um, and then I believe that will bring us to Tannhauser's turn. Unless you had remaining actions after that Sudden Bolt. Wouldn't that put him at top of the initiative if he's dying? Uh, it, yeah. He would technically move to on top of the Durgan. You are correct. So we do have some time for some of you to get to him and heal him. Yeah, Oren will uh, take what remaining movement he has. Mm -hmm. And since he can only go kind of half, do I have reasonable suspicion that his weeping aura is now gone, right? Uh, yeah, 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 I can. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to push up to here and then go up to here, just plaiting up to Tan House. So Oren's just kind of quickly, like, ch -ch -ch -ch, you know, through the water, getting up to him. And that'll be the end of Oren's turn. Okay. Volley. Um. Uh, well, I can't really do much healing, uh, so I'm just gonna spend my turn. Um. I'm going to start looking around, kind of this broad, swampy area over here. Yep. Um, and just kind of. How deep is the water? Is it like just waist deep, difficult terrain, or is yeah, it yeah, like? Yeah, it starts getting like you know waist deep around here, and then it gets to be water about like this area, just around the chest. Like you'd have to dive a little bit to get down there. Okay. Um. Hmm. Swimming in this muck does not seem like a good idea. Uh. So I'm gonna wade out to about here. Uh, because I've got panache. My movement speed is 40 with it. That'll get me there. Um, and I'm just going to, uh, holding out my, uh, my gun, just kind of peer around and see if I can see anything. Just wave it like a light down there. Yeah. Um, I mean, you see this, this chest here that sort of glows in in the water um it seems to have like a, a lambent magical light on it that's pulsating uh makes it visible it appears to m match some of the chests you've seen before uh in the upper level mm. so it looks like something like from the prince's soldiery okay i have two more actions um so i'm going to yeah i'm gonna go up to it um, about here-ish. Okay. Um, or I'd have to be here-ish. Uh, and then I'm going to, um, with my final action, just start kind of trying to haul it somewhere that's, uh, less deep. Okay, um... Can you, um... Can you give me a reflex save? Why... <laughs> Reasons. <laughs> Reasons. Uh, not bad. That would be a twenty-seven. Okay. The mimic fucking bites my hand off. Oh God! Chunk. You'll, you'll take sixteen points of electricity damage as it arcs over you as you attempt to, uh, like touch the ch the chest and it reacts to you. Oh, oh, the crackling fuck. electricity moving through the water over you. Oh, 
dickhead. All right, never mind. I'm going to move away from it. <laughs> well, you're underwater. So... <laughs> yeah, Volley's going to come up looking a little crispy. going to turn to Baldrick. Some dickhead happened? put thunder in their chest. Well, did you check it for traps first? I just touched it. I didn't open it. Usually they spring when you try to open it, but this thing is just electrified for God knows why. Aldrich's going to sigh, and he's going to just take a deep breath. Well, I'll take a look at it. Thanks. Thanks, bud. I figured that it might have some important information about, you know. And that's the end of your turn, Rahua. There is a dying man still. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, Conversation. (laughs) I'll be fine. Yeah, Rahua is like, oh, the chest is interesting. (laughs) 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 Yes, I too will throw copper rocks at wires. <laughs> In the interest of not being electrocuted as well, I'm going to move up to Tannhauser. Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't save you two times in a row, but that doesn't mean I can not let you die again. I'm going to cast Stabilize. Very good. Uh, you no longer are dying. As soon as everybody is ready, I can make us all feel a little bit better. <laughs> um, in response to that line, Tannhauser goes, me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> You are now unconscious. Very good. Good. I'm glad the, that you have different sound effects depending. <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> Oh dear, he's asleep. Let me help him. I'm going to slap him. All right, I'm back down to dying one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to non lethally slap him. Yeah, you have to heal him. He's at zero hit points. Stabilize oh. doesn't bring you back. No, you have I'm to sure heal he'll be him. Fine. I'm sure. <laughs> you just start slapping him, he will be start fine. Punching fine, him. I, I guess Tannhauser doesn't get to die today. Oh, you lucky <laughs> duck. All right, we're 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 out of out of initiative order. Congratulations. Um, Excellent. What what are all of you kids doing now? I'm gonna use nature on him and heal. Okay. Uh, Baldrick is going to wade over to Volley. Oh, so close to an twenty nineteen. Orin will also be trying to uh, kill Tannhauser with a. Uh, would a, would a normal treat wounds be applicable now, or...? Um, so this place is, like, going to be difficult to do it in, because there's not a lot of yeah. supplies and stuff here. So the DC is actually going to be 20 for this. Okay. Um, so, so Rahua, you're not quite able to, to hit the mark, but maybe, maybe your good, your good bird friend can, can assist. Okay, well, I tried. So I will... So you do some natural medicine stuff. Yeah. There we go. 34. Will that do it? That will do it. Crit? Mm, yes. And over. Yeah. 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 All right. 48. <laughs> as as is want for Tannhauser to awake to being there like glopped with pilaster goop. Yeah. I basically just go like, <laughs> basically rushed over to... <laughs> Like, out here. He comes here, like, thank you, uh, Rua. I'll try my best to help here. Have this mud. Your healing magic woke me from the most. Eat this worm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, all right, I want to have this oh, man, bite, or... your, bite your wounds closed. All right, sure. <laughs> <laughs> it might hurt a lot. <laughs> oh, man, Oren's always the one who gets to violate Tannhauser like that. <laughs> Rahua, hold his legs down. Hold his legs down. He'll try to kick me if he does this. I put a, a again a, a, a snake head that he has with with uh, <laughs> Muay Thai like kick. Some. Muay Thai kick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding hold his legs, his legs down. Legs. I'm. G- Please do not resist. You are going to feel so much better soon. Ah, oh, dragon soy. S- <laughs> with, with a snake <laughs> face. <laughs> also, Vali, do you want to be healed at all? I don't care if you don't. Uh, I will in a moment. We're dealing with a thing. 
I'm impatient. Oh. <laughs> Not actually, I'm just goofing. Oh, Rahua, you're so full of goofs. I know, I'm just a goofy little guy. I thought you were, I thought you were about to say, Rahua, you're so full of goo. <laughs> uh, Tan- no, the, the one that's been gooed is Tanny right now. Tannhauser rises up, drenched in goop, with probably now just spiders and snakes just oozing out of his wounds, like with giant l- red lumps from where this horrible homeopathic remedy healing has been affecting him. I'm so glad you woke me up. I was having the most vivid dream. There. As Picturn has descended from the rope and appears beside you. Picturn, I had this dream where I was a police officer in Outset, but then I was ambushed and murdered, so a corporation decided to graft mechanical parts to my body, like you see here, and so I became some sort of android enforcer, and I had to go and stop crime until eventually the gang that murdered, ah, I took them out, and then and then uh, there was a corporation, and the laws, and, and uh, something, uh, it was it was. Crazy. Crazy. I didn't learn anything. You got a good story there. I like listening. You keep talking. You just feel better. Picturn's words and encouragement heal you. Ah, uh, thank you. I look back at oh, you. No, really thank like... you, Tanhauser. You you take all the time you need to have your little police officer dreams. I know they're important to you, so they're important to me. You regain fourteen more hit points on top of the nine he has already healed you for with his encouraging words. Comrade Picton, I can see now why you are the first one I'd throw out of the burning building. Mostly because you're so aerodynamic. All in notwithstanding. I'm small, too. Makes me easier to lift. That's right. Rahua, have you ever tried picking up Picturn? No, I don't think I have. <laughs> Fucking Orin just walks away. <laughs> yeah, Orin's like, nope. okay, I think we're done here. Rahua, you got this. And then he starts going to the volley to help volley. Sorry. Sure. Why, why is this what tickled my funny bone here? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, Baldrick, I think you were gonna look at the chest, right? Yes, I was uh, moving over with Vali to inspect the chest. So we're like gonna have to get under the water to get this thing, right? Yeah, there's some like underwater investigation that has to happen here. So I'm not gonna touch the chest, but I would like to inspect to see if it is currently embedded in the ground somehow. Mm-hmm. Give me a perception check just to sort of like remotely view it. Mm-hmm. 17. Doesn't look like it's embedded in the ground. Okay. Well, if we can haul it to higher ground, it shouldn't shock us quite as bad. But we have no real way of getting it out just now. We got a... Getting our hands on it. Mm, got a rope? I believe so. Let me check my inventory for a rope. I do not appear to have a rope. Oh, do I have a rope? (laughs) (laughs) Do the adventurers have rope? Welcome, everybody, to the eternal... To be fair, we've been using using a lot of rope. We Uh, have been. I do have rope. I do have rope. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to... Is there, like, a handle on this thing? Oh, yeah, there's two handles on either side. They're sort of, like, rusted out uh, metal, but, like, it looks like you could lift them up and do that. Okay, so it shocked me when I touched it or when I got close to it? When you touched it. When I touched it. Okay, I'm going to, being very careful not to actually touch it, uh, loop the rope through one of the, like, handles and tie it off. Okay, um... Hmm, let's see here. You want to uh, give me a thievery check for this, please? Ah, I'm actually pretty decent at that one. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty decent at this one. Uh, it's a dirty 20. Wait. Oh, I know, what? Oh, that's, that's a 17. 17. <laughs> that looked like a 9. 
Ah, I see, I see. Well, um, you start, like, attempting to, to maneuver the rope. Um, can you give me a reflex save? God well, damn it. It's a little reflex save. I'm about to get rotten three by getting electrocuted. Oh, I saw the 20, but that is still a 27. Your greed proceeds you, I see. Oh my god! Why does Tannhauser take, you'll take another damage. 14 points of damage he, he as your hand slips in it like your your wrist momentarily taps the side as you're trying to get the rope through. You do get the rope through on this, but it shocks you again. Ah, my god! Uh, Baldrick dives Damn. a handful to pull her away from the water. Ah. Yeah, get out of there. Ah, I got the rope, but ah, god, Papa Storm, fuck! So the rope is now floating in the water. Can I put a hand on the rope and just see if it's charged? Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you put your hand on the rope and it does not seem to have, like, any kind of negative, like, zaps to you or anything. All right. I'll take up the post closest to the chest. Molly, take the bag. Gotcha. Yeah, I guess Who's we'll line up it? in a way to get this thing out of here. Well, we're all we're all pulling it. Oh, we're all pulling it. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're taking the back though, because you're not getting shocked anymore. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll help Baldrick haul it out of the water. Yeah, you you managed to to haul this chest out of the water, no problem. It sort of sits there. Um, like, and, and at this point, with the sort of like light around it, and here we can just like move you all back to the shore. Um, as that happens, you can see that like there are runes on the side of it that seem to like lightly glow. Like, there's clearly like magical protections on this thing. What the hell was this doing down here with Gorgamonger? Not sure. Oren. Yeah? Go tend to your friend. Yeah. Okay. Oren will uh, head up to the body. Obviously, as Oren looks down at the exploded corpse. Yes. Um, the, are there any remnants of bone? Yes. Um, you see, like, several, like, like bone fragments. Um, can you give me a nature check? Actually, yeah, I was gonna ask to basically be like, can you identify? Yeah, is this actually Gorgamonger's head skull or what parts are actually here? Uh, that is a 20. That is enough for you to recognize that this is maybe, maybe like components for like a sixth of Gorgamonger. Oh. Um, and as you make this gruesome, gruesome realization, um, between some of the, like, remaining dissolving rot and also some of, the, like, the bone and other matter, you see a wet piece of paper. You will grab at it. Yeah. will take it up and he'll try to read <laughs> what it says here is uh the font always fucks with me oh we could he'll get speaker it. to read it he read all the other ones and did pretty good <laughs> or we'll look at it and be like day 24 one of the hired help with missing a patrol last night just patrolling inside the tower we'll be arranging a search team yeah, search. It looked like hard team. I'm like hard yeah, team. Yeah. Oh, trust team. me. Oh, wait for the next one. <laughs> We're sending in a hard day, team. Day twenty five. She's she is no longer sight but, is no longer. Okay, sight is no longer viable. Other inhabitants present. I've updated the specimen and I'm transferring it along with hire and turning hired help to site B to the southwest. Leaving this journal here in case Site B proves notable or non viable and backup records are required. He does read this out loud. Yeah. And uh, he kind of grips the paper and kind of puts it in his little little scarf, like a little pouch area. And um, for the bones, what parts 
does he believe 100% of Gorgamark? Is there any skull? Like, there's the remnants or... of one of the four claws. Um, there's yeah. something that you thought might have been, like, the jaw, but it's, at, like, the jaw of this creature was actually too small. It looks like it was taken of, like, smaller teeth and then, like, stitched together flesh that was used to create the jaw. Or to create a false jaw, almost. It'll look, as he's looking down and he's like, this is a Gorgamonger. This bits of him, but not Gorgamonger. This is the offshoot of the experiments they were running upstairs. They made a mention that they couldn't break Gorgamonger, and they had more success with individual pieces. I'm sorry that you had to see this, Orin. Yeah, me too. I want, to sit. I want you to understand something, Orin. We are not going to allow such crimes to go unpunished. If we cannot save Gorgamonga, then know there is one thing we can do to honor him and obtain vengeance. Retribution against injustice. Right. You will not have them. Oh no! Sorry. Continue. Or struggles like, as you're telling him this. He's struggling to respond. He's just sitting there in the swamp water, just having a bad time. You alone can wield the glaive of retribution, and we shall help you hold it. And in the end, we shall bring peace to your friend, one way or another. Orin will simply nod, and he'll kind of bring his scarf over his face a bit, and he will process this. I'm going to go ahead, and uh, something strikes me about what was read earlier. I'd like to make a check with your permission, Thurston. Okay. The document referred to a Site 5. Now, originally... Site I'd... B. Site B, yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, my apologies. Uh, usually, and originally, I believe that this might be the work of some solitary scientist, something like the creator of Glove Talk. But hearing Site, that makes me feel like this is more organized. Can I roll lore warfare to see if there are any organizations to whom that vernacular is common? Or if it would strike me as something that just someone might call a secondary location normally. Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. Uh, I will hero point that because uh, if my hunch is correct, this could potentially be big. Sure. Uh, 24. 24 is enough to, to give you some insight that that type of vernacular, if you had to give it a specific connection, um, you couldn't tell like a specific group. A lot of groups use that. But um, where it is most common would be uh, documentation relating to guilds in outset. I have a this hunch. type of speech seems that like whoever was writing it, whether it like is a directly working for a guild, formerly worked for a guild, this is the type of thing that like guilds would use. I have a hunch, Orin. This could be a single individual, or it could be the work of a larger guild, one of the parasites feasting on outset. We could be working against an organized effort funded by the government to better understand the nature of the rot. Which means... And Tannhauser will turn at Baldrick. That if this is correct, if it is not an isolated actor, this may be a thread that we can pull to unweave the fabric of Outset. It may be a decision made at the behest of shadowy masters we have yet to fully consider. Baldric is going to look at Tannhauser 
and he is going to place one hand on his hip. Tannhauser, that may be useful, but in case you hadn't noticed, Orin is not exactly in a good state. Let's muse about what this could mean later, when he's done mourning. Mm. No, no, you're right. I would be insensitive. Let us continue on our mission. Pray they forgive me. Rahua will take all of this in, just kind of musing on what Tannhauser just brought up, very much agreeing with the point. But he'll look down at Orin, still just kind of wrapped up in his own scarf. Rahua will kneel down, and he will wrap his arms around Orin and just give him a big... Big Orin tree will hug. hug back. Yeah, Orin will hug back. The only thing you can kind of hear him say is we're like, why did it have to be Gorgamunger? And that's all you just hear him say as he hugs you back. It could have been anybody we know, but the fact that it was someone you know makes it hurt that much more. Although I was not privy to everything that had happened, and since I know how much it meant to find him. I can't really offer you any words of consolation, as I didn't know him like you did. But I know that, in spite of what had happened, we are all still here and we will do what we can to make this right, Gorin. This may be your... your, uh, your hatchet to bury or cross to bear, but... You do not have to do it alone. I'm sorry, friend. Orin will simply uh, nod. Hello? Hello? Are, are you down there? You hear the voice of Dita Neeson at the, the, like, exposed hole up above where the rope is. Baldrick's gonna frickin' shout up at her. Hey, stay away from the edge. It's slippery. Oh! Uh, yeah, of, of course, of course. I, I, it's, is everything all right down there? Not particularly. Oh, I heard, I heard lots of, of noise. I was told to to stay, stay up to to catalog, and since and since I heard the noise, and but, we'll I, be up in a minute. We're consolidating. Oh, uh, all right, yes, of course. Uh. We should probably take the opportunity to. Get a bit of rest now that we've cleared the uh, other rooms out. We Let's should probably rest, first. I'd rather regroup, and the whole chest. right. Well, we should rest, regroup, and see. Does this look like a tunnel or just like an underground cave? So this is like actually part of the um, like part of the overall siege tower. Like the ground here is oh, actually this is okay. an extension of the key. Oh, I was wondering why oh. they there were borders. Yeah, uh, this is an extension uh, of the cube, and like the ground you've been on is like rusted metal from water that is seeped in. Um, though where you saw some of those spectral hands, and particularly the area where they grabbed um, Tannhauser and burst through, that looks like it had rusted so much that it had finally like gone through to the ground underneath, and like the the dirt and the muck underneath. Hmm. In that case, we should probably clear out this area and then head back to camp. We need to rest and regroup and figure out where those tunnels they mention lead. Where the hell this Site B is. We'll have to search down here for anything further, but I believe that's a good choice. We need to find the rest of Gorgamunger. And see if we can't give him a proper, uh... Proper burial. Oh. Well, that Or... Uh, I'm going to use one of my remaining quick alchemy things, and I'm going to put together a moss bomb, mm -hmm. and I'm going to toss it to Orin. Orin, heads up. Can I reflex say to see if I catch it or just off his head? No. Yeah, I mean, it's up to you. I'm trying to give you a scene uh, here. There you go. Yeah, you're tossing me the scene. Let's see how well it goes. Okay. Right, 22. That'll, that'll let you catch it. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Orin, Orin catches it and looks over at Baldrick. 
collect what parts you can recognize, douse them with that. That way you can keep them. Mm. At least until we find a good spot to bury him. Lauren will nod and he'll start. He'll start going through the muck. Uh, obviously trying not to touch it with his hands or so. Obviously it's probably rot still everywhere. So he just tries to extract what he can. Yeah, this is uh, an awful thing to ask someone to do to their own friend. So Tannhauser is going to assist the best that he can. I, I, I was leaving it to Orin because I felt it would be even worse to just come over and spike it onto Gorgamonger like well, no, in, in which case <laughs> he will assist to Orin's comfort level I just I just realized <laughs> at first I was like no it makes sense then I'm like wait a second forcing the guy whose friend this is to find all of the implements and drag them out through surgery it might be traumatic not through right? surgery the thing uh, look the thing's falling apart like, okay, it's as much sure. surgery as it takes to pull a bone out of a pulled pork I'm afraid Fair. Fairfax, yeah. Yeah, so um, collectively, yeah. Um, we, I guess we all just extract what parts of Gorgamonger Orin can identify. Yeah, yeah, like you're able to get like some some bones, some claws and whatnot and, and collect the rest. Um, like enough for, for you know, what you, you think is salvageable. The rest of it, though, is, is you take this moss and put it over. The primal moss immediately seeps, seeps over this body and any of the residual rot just seems to, to retract. And for a moment, Orin, as you touch it, like your hand kind of quivers and it's not from like fear or sadness but like your hand has a reaction to even holding this vial yeah. um but you manage to to sort of take control and, and, and pour it over which causes the the rot to dissolve and any of the other things just to you know basically part before there is a, a steaming mass in the air that then dissipates leaving you with only the, the goods you've collected Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Aldrich nods. Is there anything else we need to do in here, or we start heading back up? I'm going to look around, see if there's anything we missed. But For safety, I'm going to open the chest instead of Volley. Okay. Um, you know, unless, unless Volley wants to relive Tesla coil power again. Ah! How are you, how are you like, like, are any of you, like, okay, it, Gaming logic. Okay, it's obviously the chest is trapped. Are any of you, like, trying to disarm the trap? Yeah, I'm going to try and do that now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're all just taking turns poking Well, no, 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 because he's like, I'm going to try to open it. And I'm like, just yeah, I clarify. Figured it was a yeah, I... trap that ten thousand would <laughs> arcane check it, see what it is, then we all disarm it. Yeah, sure, I can I can uh, roll an arcane check if you prefer. That's I easy. mean... Hey, whatever works, whatever, whatever Thurston thinks is the proper yeah. choice. Yeah, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me a little arcana. Box, reveal your secrets. Yeah, that's Let's... enough for you to identify there. There are several arcane runes on it. Um, it looks like there, several of them have dissipated. It looks like there were probably another two charges in this thing, but like you can easily with that check just um, make necessary um strikes on it to remove those runes and their power before they trigger Tannhauser, um, which leaves you with a chest. No, you're not shocking. You don't have to shock and grasp. No, I, I just forgot to spend the spell slot, so I pressed it. I forgot that it would... <laughs> I gotcha. You shock the chest back. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so... Yeah. Um, inside, you can you can crack this uh, this chest open now that you have disabled those runes. Inside is a pile of assorted old mint coins. They appear to be some kind of ancient variant of the Empire of the First House. Um, for for you know sake of, of ease whilst these aren't like exact gold coins modern modern time gold coins uh you can tell that there's probably about like with the type of coins and some research like all of the, those of you who are like trained in like warfare lore and some some other you know no, notable marketing uh skills society and whatnot can guess the worth of this to be about a hundred gold pieces worth of just additional gold value here, so I'm just going to add that to the people's loot. 
I was actually going to suggest to the party that we pass this over to Neeson, because this is technically an archaeological find. Hmm. Well, she might pay us more for it, because they're old coins, but... We will pay you 120 gold pieces, which I will add to the people's loot. Yay! Oh, okay, so we're, we're just gonna quick math that one. All right. <laughs> yeah, like I, I like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like at this point, like you're able to get it. I just want to make sure that it's tracked and it's not something we forget about. And then you're a hundred and something coins down the. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. this is one of those things where mm -hmm. we're definitely she will take the, the the coins and provide you like good. You know, money can be exchanged for goods and services. Um, Homer. there is also in there um another item which appears to be um. A Falera. What? If you have warfare, you can uh, you can give me a check. All right. It would be such that I do have it. Yeah. I will also do warf. You have no honor. You have this roll has. I have no twenty-seven. Honor. Sweet. You're right. That roll has. Yeah. No honor. Uh, Tannhauser. This goes back a bit. Be before Tannhauser's knowledge. Um. This is this is. Particularly old. Uh, a falera is a sculpted disc, usually made of a metal. In this case, it is a uh, bronze. Um, they're worn on breastplates. Um, this is actually like a thing that exists in the real world for Roman soldiers. Um, but in this case, it's something the prince's legions used, um, and it has the like the, the symbol of the prince, and an older symbol. I should I should specify. Oh, I see. Prince. It's one of those discs. It's it's like a little it's a little plate that the Romans used to wear a literally on the chest armor exactly yeah um and and in this case it, they, like some of them were, were awarded like medals this is like a, a bronze one so it wasn't like anything you know too spectacular but like this would have been like a a, a soldier who had done enough to, to earn some kind of recognition um, and as as you sort of see this amongst the coinage, um, you can also see that there is a full suit of breastplate in here um, that has preserved where this falera could could be socketed in. Um, Tannhauser, as you sort of inspect this and you know turn on the on the magic vision, um, you you do get the impression that the falera itself uh, does radiate like psychometric energy, so something for your object reading um, or object whispers, but the armor appears to be magical. So the Falera is not, but it has like some kind of reading to it, whereas the armor is. Uh, sure. Uh, can I do a detect magic or uh, object whispers on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so I, I just assume you're detecting magic. That That's how yeah. you would tell the, 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 like, the armor and stuff was. Um, but as far as the Falera, yeah. Um, and as you, you you touch this this disc and your, your kind of eyes shoot back Mentat style, um, words come into your mind. And you hear... Serena Kalasti never thought she'd escape a life of banditry amidst the hills of Radaman. The prince's arrival gave her purpose, and she willingly braved the vicious seas to help take the jewel of outset. She would never see the city's walls. She would die screaming alongside her legionnaires in the depths of a timeless prison. Interesting. What a shame. Mm. What a rotten way to die. Uh, it's the thing. Hey, it's the thing. He said the thing. Uh, hey. He said the uh, thing. Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Um, with that sad parable, is this the same person that was being discussed in the other object whispers? Yes. Hmm. Timeless prison. You know, I have a question, Thurston. Mm -hmm. Does my detect magic detect any magic coming from this little doohickey? Um. It does not seem to radiate magic directly, but you see, like, small lines of it, like it connects to something that might. Hold a moment. I'm going to do something kind of spicy. So oh, if okay. we step here, do we get... It was this box that was electrocuting us, but this area is no longer dangerous, yes? Yeah, yeah like, like, you haven't seen anything else in the water. Okay. I'm going to wade in. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take the, one of my ropes. I have ropes. Uh, I have a climber's kit. I have all sorts of good stuff. 
Mm -hmm. I'm going to tie it around this, bring it back, and I'm going to say, everyone, work with me and let's twist this. I want to see if this cube has any other secrets. I was spoken of a, this object spoke of a timeless prison, and it may well be that by exploring the depths of this cube, we can come to understand more of the operations here. Might have to leave it up to Neeson to drain it, though. Are you going? Uh, what are you talking about? Oh. There's a valve down here. It may yeah. drain matters, or it could lead further into the cave. Either way, it's worth investigating. Yeah. We should probably rest up first before we try to do that in case it releases some kind of damn rotten snake or some kind of other horrible thing. Just to, just to clarify, this is not like, it, it, it itself is not a hatch. And as you look closer, you can tell it's it's sort of just an elevated valve. You're not sure what it connects to or what it does, but it, it's not opening a door there. It's a like valve. Anything could come out of it. Anything could come out. I mean, yes. Even half-life. Like, yeah. It, the whole half-life. Wow. Full life could come out. Full oh, what? Wow. Not golden, a rope. <laughs> Wayne, please hire us. Continue. <laughs> you know, we can use those to clear pits, I've been told. Um. Mm -hmm. All right, so do we want to rest before uh, we all lift together, or do we want to just YOLO? I'm uh, not rest, please. Safety. Yeah, fair enough. We've got time. We We can use it. Let's yeah, take yeah. We, already, we already made a discovery that I wasn't expecting us to make at this at this juncture. I kind of figured, like, oh, Gorgamunger's not here. He was, but he's not now. I was like, oh, no, parts of him still definitely are. It's like, oh, well, then we've made more yeah. progress than I thought. There, before. there. We'll uh, <laughs> climb back up then and rest uh, and then come back down later. Yeah, absolutely. OK, oh, before you um, so oh. let's go. Oh, oh, so you want to say something, Hulky? Yeah, yeah, if, yeah. We're gonna, if we're gonna rest anyway, then before we do, uh, Rahua will do his funny little healing routine. I'm going to cast heal at third level and just do it. Do, we'll do it. We'll do a repeat. We got a much bigger pull this time. We'll just send a tendril of vines all across the floor and let a nice healing vapor rise from this muck. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm gonna let y'all heal yourselves to full because, like, between the the the, the ten minute medicines you can do, the um, pick turn all, having all a shit ton of sue spells. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's, mm -hmm. let's save ourselves some time. And nothing else is like yep. assailing you in this place. I want to. We did it. We that. cleared the dungeon. Um, the only thing you've got um, that you know you may want to consider is is the the chest um, that you. I'm assuming left on the second floor, the one yes, that you found I, in the room with the destroyed uh, perfectites underneath. Yep. The, the yeah, destroyed I figured we'd be coming back up to deal with yeah. that. And, you know, OK, so so do you want to go up and like inspect that chest now? Is that sort of the plan? And then do your your healing up and resting? Yeah, let's get that squared away and done. Okay. Yeah. You'll um, so you carry back on up to floor two. Um, here, we'll just move everybody all lickety split into the same little room here. Thurston, where's Liam Neeson? Liam Neeson? He's behind you. Yeah. Oh, that's that's pick turn. He's, He's found <laughs> Um. Then okay, cool. Um. So is. so you all like c come into here. Um. I'll turn off Dita Neeson's light. Okay, there we go. Because, you know, her light does weird things. Okay. Um, and then glowing, glowing tan has her. Excellent. All right. So as you, as you could come up, you, you, you take, take, a, take two to a rest in this area, setting up, you know, campfires and whatnot. Dita is exploring every nook and cranny of, of the siege tower as, as she's wanted to do. Um, however, you have this, this chest, um, that makes this sort of like swishing sound. It appears to be locked uh, as we determined last session. Do any of you have thieves tools in an attempt to unlock it? I'm a bird. <laughs> yeah, you are. I do not have thieves tools, but I have a good thievery score. So if anybody else has a lockpick, hit me up. <laughs> I have thievery. Um, that's it. Would it be possible to just try to break the lock with gouging claw? I mean, can I, can I use a bolt? 
Can I use a bolt as a pick? A bolt? Um, yeah, I would allow you to do it at a minus two penalty. Sure, I'll try it. Yeah. Who's got the best thievery? I have an eight. I have a plus 11. Fuck and you, that... take the bolt. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm very fast. All right, take your nine, nine to nine to hit. All or, right. You know, do it minus two or whatever, because you're using... Yep. I suppose I should lose that bolt, huh? Uh, and, yes. And uh, yep. can I assist? Sure, like, get yes. back seat lock Wait, picking. Well, yeah, no. absolutely. <laughs> no, you Next need to go to the right. God, I'm just going to lock explain this to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Takes, out, takes out his little red book. Now, the revolutionary way to pick a lock is this. We must first proudly announce our intentions. No, I'm part <laughs> machine too, so I, I know how this works. <laughs> I'll show you what This lock doing. is like a cousin to me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Binding on one, you have to go to two, damn it. Go to two. <laughs> <laughs> and just any time there's a click that isn't what we want, it's just you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> wow, Tanny, yeah. you're this, you in the The fact that you're so close with this fucking glowing armor is yeah. just like wow. making Volley's eyes <laughs> to wait, win. Wait, uh, see, Volley, uh, uh, Volley can make Tannhauser be like, like, move to the right. The light, light's not in the way. No, not like that. Like you know, it's like a dad and his son <laughs> fixing cars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna take my penalty and I'm just gonna roll. Yeah. E. Uh, Eighteen. Mm, that's okay. not good, Cotton. It's not. It's not great. Uh, not um, great. Penhauser, you were assisting, right? You're doing it wrong. I am doing my best, Tanny. Dad, Please Dad. give me your assist roll, Tannhauser. I'll That's activate the, the nanite surge. <laughs> to, to lock splain. Oh, God. Oh, okay. One day. okay. So, so, with, with this, um, Tannhauser provides you a plus two bonus volley, which gets you a 20, which, given the age of this lock um, and, and some, like, some some moving around of it and some, you know, smartness, you manage to to crack it open um, and realize that, like, in fact, just putting a lot of pressure on this thing, like, this is very old. Like, the fact that this lock has even lasted this long is is working out pretty well. Undercutter um, achievements, why don't you? Yeah, <laughs> you know, you know, look, I am. I, I'm just, just absolutely. Um, Gonna pull the rusty so, lock off and throw it in the Yeah, hole. and so, so the lock comes off. Okay. Well. Oh god, it was, it was a big turn. <laughs> <laughs> he jumps out of the chest. <laughs> yeah. No, he just like gets close as he hears the, like, and is like kind of like thumbing his his hands together as he's like, what? Yeah. There could be anything in there. Let's Why see. The <laughs> I get, yeah, I crack open the chest. One crab. Okay, um, so inside is, um, as I said, this is like, you know, two feet sort of thick, about like a foot deep, you know, it's a longer chest. Um, inside is a roiling mass of rot. Oh, Like God. purified liquid rot and the slushing around of it. I need you to give me a reflex save as you crack this open. Uh, uh 27. Okay, you managed not to, like drop like or, or, or not drop but like you, you managed not to shake it or cause any undue you know stress that would cause any of it to to spatter out but yeah. you certainly now are are seeing that this has just like un like untouched rot like the the physical manifestation of the rot in it oh. and it undulates and like pop slightly similar to what you saw on the not dragon below. Oh, uh, pick turn like looms over. Well, not looms. He doesn't really loom over anything. He looks down. Oh, yeah. Volley's going to take a couple of instinctual steps away from it. Okay. That. Oh, Speaking I... of. I guess that's what they used on Gorgamonger. Why is there so much of it still left? 
Where did they I get it? it? Perhaps they were experimenting with it? Could it be some new iteration <sighs> rot? Is that even possible? Can I attempt this an alchemy is, on it, Thurston? This is definitely newer. You can tell by the, 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 the make of this chest here. The lock is very old. They must have repurposed that, but the, the rest of this is all... It's 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 mod, modern-style chest, uh, probably one from, from outset. Uh, sorry, you were saying, um, Baldrick? Is there any way I could do an alchemy on this? Any way uh, at all? Yeah, absolutely. You want to give me a crap? What, what is your goal with the check? What are you trying to do with this alchemy check? I'm trying to determine exactly how much would be needed for their operations and exactly how potent this is. Uh, yeah, sure. Give me, give me a, give me a crafting check to do your recall knowledge. Cool. Uh, can I use savant? Yeah. Cool. Uh, twenty-five. Yeah. So this this would be like a lot of rot in any situation um very likely this would be enough rot that someone could you know start in in like a, a noticeable infection somewhere it would be enough for a cadre of alchemists or scientists to do work with um even possessing this much is disturbing like caches this big are like destroyed on site now one thing with your your check that you would also know is that whilst the rot is is a corrupting corrupting influence on like material things, it, it interacts with you know the um, or is opposed by I should say like old power type material like you know the moss. Um, however, it's not as actively opposed by fundamental elements. And in fact, one thing is, is it has like a really hard time and there there aren't any really recorded cases of the rot infecting like fundamental matter, which would mean that this site is actually a really good site to work with something like this. Cause like spilling this, for example, wouldn't necessarily infest everything around. Okay. I mean, coupled with the fact that we found those fucking wine bottles full of rot in the other room previously, they, they seem like they're going a bit too buck wild with it. I mean, fair point. <laughs> this is this is like more than you would ever expect to see in your life, let alone like something that would be used for, you know, any kind of experiment or whatnot. I get the distinct feeling they're not performing this experiment of theirs out of the goodness of their hearts or the noble pursuit of learning anything. I think they may be just doing this for a less good purpose. Remember those bottles in the other room? Mm. Clear. Yeah. Got entirely too much. Right. Do we know what guild's behind this? Yes, we have a hint. The medicinal guild, right? The doctors. We the found crates. That crate. The crates were theirs. I can't guarantee that they're behind it, but if those were stolen, that's another issue. If they were supplied, that's more in line with your theory. Right. It's worth looking into, at least. Well, we've got a lot to look into. Granted, uh, but we probably who is this? The rot? rot? Destroy it, hopefully. Keep it sealed. Don't break it open. If you can find a corner to put it all in, do it, and I'll deal with it later. Drop some moss in there. See if that yeah, fixes the problem. Unfortunately, it'll have to wait because I don't exactly have all the materials to hand right now. Kind of used up most of my materials for today. Right. Well, uh, in that case, we might as well rest up and then finish clearing this place out, see if we can find anything else. But here's what my question is. The, the leader of the Children of the Blaze, he gave us a location of Gorgamunger much, much further away. It could be the finished project. 
and he could be trying to get us killed. Hmm. Probable to me, indeed, but they're expecting us. My assumption is that the place he marked is probably Site B. Most likely. The question is, what the hell do the children, the, how, how do they factor into this? Why would they be cooperating with the medicinal guild and outset? Because they don't seem to be the types to have the sort of resources to do this. I just kind of gesture wildly at everything. Never discount individual ego. Some people think they're about to learn the most important thing since, well, sliced bread, I suppose. Some people think they've got everything in their power to achieve things beyond the stars. If they've got some resources, odds are they can get more. This could mm. either be an individual case or it could be a from on high scenario. Either way, it's a mess. You need to figure right. out who's running it. Exactly. And that means it's probably all the more important to find those nomads with the alleged cure. Yeah. We're a good distance away from them, so if we wanted to beat tracks to them now, that would be a wise choice. I sincerely doubt that Elort's suggestion on where to find Gorgamonger is all that... true. Well... We'll see if we can't get some correspondence from that buddy of yours. See if she finds anything. Ah, uh, well, she's got a long walk, too. May as well figure on beating tracks that way at some point. Right. We'll figure out the actual... Uh, where we go from here, I guess. Right. Because we still have those ruins. On that note, shall we finish up with this damn tower and figure out what that valve down there does, or shall we leave it for now, Ms. Neeson? Uh, I... <laughs> Once we have all rested, yeah, we could see what the valve does. I would be loath to leave anything un under investigated before we leave. Yes. Let's check that valve. See what it hides. Hmm. So, um, right, you, know you carry on back down. Um, you've already got the rope set up, which Tannhauser you've, you've like, have sort of laying down there. Um, when you come back down, this time the, uh, the spectral hands seem to stop at this point. Um, they don't emerge again. Something has prevented their reappearance. And yeah, um, there is this pull um, that you have. Are all of you going to be involved in trying to like grab this rope and then just start hauling it to, to, to activate the valve down there? Yeah, yeah teamwork. Fuck help. it. Yeah. Okay. All, all of you go, um, even like a little pick turn at the back. I'm helping, you know. I used to do this tug of war thing back home on the farm. It was a real good time. Um, you know, it's just a little, little family thing. He just looks at Picturn, and Picturn will only see a mournful, depressed, just tired of life face. And Orin just gives him a single look. Yeah, it was a good story, but I, I suppose now might not be the time. I'll tell it again when everybody's maybe. Orin <laughs> turns back to pull the rope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and you begin pulling. And there is a chunk sound. A ka chunk. As you begin pulling and pulling and with more and more intensity, as you do so, um, the valve continues to, to, to spin, to spin, to spin. And then you hear this kind of humming, this... Um, all of you like feel your, your bones and your insides shake slightly to this. Mm. Uh, your legs feel like strange for a moment um, almost light um, with that the water 
begins to slowly recede. Exactly where it's draining is ambiguous, but it begins to drop out, um, removing that element from this chamber. Well, that did something. Water's done. I don't think that was intentional. Whatever this thing was connected to, I don't think was intended to be pumping out swamp water. Um... All of you again have this like feeling in your in your like body. Like for for a moment, you seem almost lighter. Can I uh, roll crafts um, to maybe see if I can tell what that might be connected to? Uh, I did previously work on large vehicles like this. Yeah, year. yeah. Uh, you can, hang on. You can make loading your way a map. It. Yeah, I am. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, because as you do so um, and go to uh -huh. investigate this, Tanhauser, you have the briefest moment as you're like trying to think of what this could be. You you remember to where exactly you are standing and what this location is, and almost as you like have that moment, you very quickly realize. Something is off, and then you see all of the walls of the chamber suddenly lose their silverness, and then the darkness in the room, and the entire area is washed in light. As you find yourselves overlooking the immediate terrain, and you realize that the cube is... The, 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 the silver cube you are in, this Perfectite Siege Tower, is once again floating. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> Damn <Boom>. it! <laughs> Vale! And as I... it floats, you now see a whole bunch more terrain that was previously inaccessible to you. And then you also see in this forested area far to the southwest, um, somewhat in the direction of where Alort had indicated that Gorkamunger was, or at least along the way, like some kind of rainbow coloration swirling in the canopy. Uh, you see that to the northwest that you already knew was was like a, a swampy lake, but then there's open sort of plain land f further to the northwest. That was where, you know, you had sent uh, Victrix and the other squad. There's more swampland far to the west. There's a plains area further out. You, you, you finally are getting more of a sense of the immediate terrain around you. And then... You see the walls shimmer back to darkness, back to the silver, back to the, the, the metal of, of the Perfectite. And you hear this. And there is this. And like all of you kind of shake. Ugh. I was about to say, I need to Damn. brace myself for when this thing crashes. Damn it. Not the, not exactly the airship we were looking for, huh? Well, yeah. I'm sure we could always repair it. <laughs> you know how this kind of machinery works? We could learn. No, no, you can. Why? Oh, don't Ikro we... being the voice of like outer <laughs> reason. <laughs> no. Why don't we realize for a moment that Miss Neeson also probably saw this? So unless you're willing to get rid of her, I don't think we're keeping this discovery. Yeah. Well, at the very least, it would make exploring quicker if we decide to repair it, but I'm not... Uh, I'm not I optimistic. I am not a Perfectite engineer. Nor am I. And I am not Perfectite at all. In fact, I, I will not travel in this, this construct, this aberration, that it may be. What, you don't even Can want to commandeer it for the forces of chaos? Liberate it, as it were? How do you think these things work, Vali? Frankly, I was about to uh, hedge my bet on magic, but... Magic is not far off, but it is a bit reductive. 
These are fundamental forces of reality itself. While one may give way to the other, it is not as simple as, well, corrupting the essence as if the rot did. So unless you want to fly around a rotten construct, well, I suppose you best get to working on how to manipulate the rot for your own ends. Point being is, the operations of this construct are as alien to us as, well, I am to all of you. Hmm. Oh. Oh. If I could manipulate the rot, I would have by now. But I get what you mean. I, I, I suppose I could have my guts come and we could take take point and, and continue investigating here now that all the threats are dealt with. Um, I, like she per, this is where she would like Dita would provide you the coins in exchange for everything and sort of like match up with the the, the equipment you've found. Um, the, the the breastplate is still available if any of you want it. Again, that was that was magical. Um, I'll try to swap mine out for that. I think. Uh, yeah. We should probably. Is it? Did, did we identify like what it does? It, does it have some kind of special property? Is it just enchanted? Uh, you have not. Uh, you've not identified it yet. So like anyone with like, Arcana could do that. So Tan yeah, has. You wanna? I push it at him like like Give a cat. Give it to the old, the old college. Yeah, let's uh, let's identification it. Sure. Identify the chest. Identify. Identify the amazing chest. Amazing chest ahead. I assume I'm rolling Arcana. Yeah. Uh, twenty-eight. Hooray! Yeah, you you identify the breastplate. I'm just going to add it to your uh, inventory. Give me one second. The people's here. lewd. The people's lewds. Um, and Shut this. Up. Yeah. Well, one sec. How dare you say this to our pair? Yes. Um. This is this armor is a plus one resilient breastplate. So what that means is that it gives you like an extra armor bonus, AC bonus, yay! But it also increases your uh, your saves by one while you while you wear it. Nice. What's its a uh, Dex cap modifier? Uh, dex uh, modifier Three. cap is one. Ooh. Let me see yeah. what my no. breastplate is offering. Because if my breastplate's already reducing it to... Yes, so, so yeah, basically it's... I would be basically trading up my breastplate for another one. Yeah, this this would be a flat-up upgrade to your breastplate. So I'm gonna... Wait, so which one is it again? It's the second one, right? Uh, Yeah, yeah, the one that has I'm gonna the swap it out, yeah. and I'm going to add the other one to the people's loot. And sell cool. it later if someone's interested in it. Like, give that to fucking... Rahua, he could have some armor finally. He has a, he is armor. I'll I'll drag your old one there. Cool. Um and with that, um yeah, D just paid you off. You have the, the, the treasure all good to go. Um I guess Do we, um, I wanna ask okay. very quick before we end yeah. though, Thurston, on that one. Uh can huh? we trade out the frickin' ten bulk of miscellaneous legionary equipment and the marble bus to her? Yeah, 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 ab ab absolutely. We can just exchange that for 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 money as well. Um, Less things yeah. to carry, the better. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll I'll get rid of that and just like add the five twenty five gold for all that, bringing you up to thirteen hundred gold pieces, which is pretty reasonable. Uh, I'll remove these other items. I, uh, Baldrick and then a hand on Tenhauser's shoulder. Now we can buy a dirigible. Finally. Yeah. And at this point, um, I guess before we, 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 we do end today's session, I do want to get a sense of where exactly you are going to plan to go next. Let's coordinate on that, shall we? Yeah. I'm very interested in the swirling rainbow. It is on our direction to Gorgamonger, but I, it's the less straightforward path. I think we should go back to try and find Zabblezap's shit again and try to find something that'll help us traverse the swamp faster. We have so much money to work with. Zabblezap, though, and the entire area, keep in mind, had like four guys, four level one guys to protect him. I get the feeling that the outpost is not going to have a tremendous amount of resources for us. 
It risks just being a time sink. We mm. did talk previously on this, and I remember us discussing this. You had asked, like, can we get a dirigible or, like, a, a cart or something? And we we went to go make one after we learned that, oh, buying one would probably be very expensive. That is true. Yeah, a, a cart, lugging a cart through the swamp, though, is gonna be a tough one. That's what I mean, pack animal. I mean, I, I presume Thurston was not bullshitting us and saying, oh, yeah, you can buy the cart, and then they give it to us, and it's like, oh, Rahu of mush. Oh, no, I know. It's more just the fact that it's it's difficult terrain, it's grassy, it's swampy, and carts are better suited for when you're going on a path. That is uh, true. And we are not following a path. That does risk slowing us down, generally. Uh, can I ask Thurston if there would have been any vehicles that avert difficult terrain that would have been available of any sort? Uh, that not we could in use for this that case. The, like, the best you could do would be picking up some, like like some some essentially like cheap rowboat type things that you could use to say get through like the water terrain that's to the northwest um you could get a cart and the the benefit of having a cart or a wagon even here is that it can store stuff for you right like because okay. you're starting to also get pretty pretty heavy on the on the gear and like well Stita and crew can handle it with what they have i have an idea yeah. Okay. Ugh. Pick turn is now our Patsy. <laughs> he is. What's Dad? Patsy? It's what you are. Oh, okay. We bring the loyal just companion. Be who we put a big any... fucking backpack on that little guy. And he's got to carry all of it. He has the disc. He doesn't need to lift anything. Exactly. It'd be funny if he did. Exactly. Oy. We got a pick turn. We got our solution all along. So this is the this is the ludge that we're going to be going with because I'm presuming we're going to find more materials and I think it would be foolish to assume we're not going to. We run the risk of having to leave shit behind once we start hitting carrying capacity. Do we want to go back? It'll take a little more time and get a thing to help hold our materials rather than trying to jury rig one or do we press on knowing full well we're probably going to have to ditch some shit? Hmm... Well, I'm in the camp of going back and getting something that I'm, I'm presuming again here, Thurston, and please okay. correct me if I, I, I'm wrong. I, yeah. The cart will not be a hindrance to us. Okay, no, no, no. The cart will, will not, like, be be a, an annoying hindrance. I'm not going to, like, okay. fucking do that. But it will allow you to get stuff. Now, again, you're going to have to go back. You're going to get it. Now, if you go back to Zabble Zaps, um, here's what's going to happen. You're going to go back to Zabble Zaps. You're going to be able to make purchases. Zabble Zap can sell up to a certain item level. I will explain that. We don't have to go into that, on, like, here. Um, we'll explain that between sessions. But basically, you'd be able to make some purchases there for equipment and stuff. Um, and I can, like, allow you to know what that number is. Um so if you want to do that next, absolutely. I guess, like, and, and we can do that, and y'all can figure that out. Again, I don't want you to, to rush into anything. I guess the question that I, I more want and more for our viewers to know is after, let's let's say you go to Zabble Zaps, pick up the carriage, get that, um, get all good to go. Where exactly, like, what direction are you planning on heading next? Mm. Well, we sent um victrix toward where uh alert was off to yeah if she's so, moving at the same speed she'll either be there or there yeah so i'm comfortable letting her kind of send correspondence once she gets there uh because i imagine she'll have like the fucking carrier pigeon or something <laughs> some or way to get in contact back with because us. it went horribly wrong Who knows? yeah yeah and, and, yeah and the thing to note is that you've explored this hex here that you're in right now and you've explored this hex here so you like you can move through these two much faster than like any other hexes right um because right. you you have notes on the terrain you, you, you've gone through this area so like going here and coming back here isn't going to be too bad. here's so my we thought can, we can do that. I just want to know where y'all are planning on. Are Here's, you going like here, here, so, dragon? So I was or, gonna, I was yeah. gonna get on that. So here's my thought on that. Right. Why don't we go to here? Mm -hmm. This spot here. You see on the map. Yeah. Go to here. We can see what terrain this is. This is, and then we can make it a judgment call at that point to see like 
will it be good to do this and then just go north, or can we go here, go back, and then go investigate this again? Yeah, I'm very, I'm very interested in that rainbow, but I feel like Gorgamonger is more pressing. I, I wouldn't like to waste time, but it, it'll be good to learn what's ahead before we make any decisions. Like, let's hit the rainbow, then we hit Gorgamonger, because there could be, like, nothing but garbage terrain over here that Arn, makes us slow Arn as hell. raise his hand and say, yeah. uh, as everyone's, like, debating, like, oh, we can go this way. Uh, we're going to go, going to go, like, fellas, um... Appreciate you guys helping me find Gorgamiger and, and such, and but I can't really ask you guys to spend all of your time just, you know. I mean, I just kind of met you guys in the city and stuff, and I can't ask you guys to, you know, keep sacrificing your lives to all right. tell me just find a friend. But I'm okay if we need to make any detours or do anything to make sure we're safe, because you know I might have gone over across half the world to try to find one friend and. I've already lost one. I don't want to lose four others. So if we need to take time to make sure we're all going to be safe at the end of it, I'd rather take that time. Oren, I'm going to put a hand on his shoulder. Don't feel guilty ever for anything that we're doing here. We want to find Gorgamonger because it's important to you. We're a crew. Understand? We stick together, and we look out for our own. And because he's a friend of yours, he's a friend of ours. So, we want to find him. We want to make Arnold. sure that whatever happened to him can't happen to anybody else ever again. Arn will nod, and then you'll look at everyone and be like, Well, we find Gorgamonger. If he's going to be in the same state as that other thing was, we're going to need to prepare a lot. We need preparations we need to do. Now's the time. I think I'm confident of what we're going to find, but I'd rather we all be ready for it. Let's do whatever preparations, get any materials that we can, because it's going to be tough. Right. All right. All right. Well, I think that's where we're we're gonna we're gonna call it. Also, by the way, thank you, Odo, for not going the other way. If like, oh, Oren, my friend, thank you for letting me go to this fucking rainbow. <laughs> like, I was just waiting because you oh, were all in on rainbow time. You were just like, there's a rainbow on the map. I need to know what it is. I I, uh, I, I yes. want to go to rainbow. I'll be I want to go to rainbow land. We, we need but... to see if it's we need okay. to see if it is strategically feasible. We are now playing Stratego. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so yeah. excited. So, uh, there's also, the there's one other thing I have to say before I do absolutely hand it over. Um, da, 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 you all gain a level. Yeah, Ooh, we're level hey. six. I can Let fucking go. fly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There you go. There you go. I got level up. hit points. We're level so six now. You'll, now. We'll, yeah, we'll let y'all do that. Uh, we'll we'll do the shopping stuff off stream chat, um, and we'll figure out for next time as they head back to Zabble's apps, get some gear, and head out. And maybe we'll see what happens when they venture more than just one hex away from the start of this adventure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, it's one hex. Yeah. Yeah. I told oh. you we're we're getting into we're getting into like the deep the deep stuff now. You know. Yeah. I imagine oh, the less the rest of the hexes will be less interesting. We'll see. We'll, we'll see, see about will, that. Yeah, rainbow Not on. Just in the rainbow. We like, also just, just need to nothing. not fucking squirrel on everything. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at you, Rainbow. I want to see the rainbow. I want to go to Rainbow Land. Somewhere. I want to go to the rainbow. gay rights hex. Okay. <laughs> All right, everyone. All right, everyone. Let's start ending it out. I hope everyone, everyone, I hope okay. you have a fantastic weekend. Thank you for watching this live, uh, live on Twitch.tv forward slash Zone the Bear. Thanks for watching this live. We appreciate it. If you like what we did, patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration. Want to find your schedule, narrative declaration.com, where you can find our Twitter, Discord, all that other stuff. And come have fun with us. So, first off, thank you. Odo, Hokey, Arundel, Speaker D, and Thurston for uh, making a fantastic session today. Everyone was amazing, along with you, chat, and our audience. Thank you all so much for supporting us, and we'll hope to see you 
next time. See you guys. See you guys. Same bat time, same bat channel on our schedule. Check out our website. We'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Have a happy Halloween. Halloween. Bye. 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 Bye.